STS 420. Mail time. Shout out to Steve. Joe Montana was a quarterback, you crazy asshole. What? Remember the water boy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, you what the quarterbacks fuck? Quarterbacks in Joe Montana. <laughs> or Joe Montana. Joe Montana was a quarterback, you crazy asshole. <laughs> I said Joe Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Oh, man. I love that movie. That freaking hillbilly who's like, rah, 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 rah. Every time by Bouche. <laughs> Him and then the other dude with the fucked up eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you just make a joke, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. Didn't they say they were going to make a part two? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. Oh, hopefully it lives up. Yeah, it's got some big shoes to fill. Yeah. All right. What mm. number? In a moment, so sorry about that. Uh, boo. Boo this man. Well, I thought we were going to be able to use the iPad. So. Oh, yeah. No, I get you. Ooh, that means you have to, you know, fix all the audio. For this one? See how, how loud it is and all that? No. no, no. Oh. Uh, when I half volume ah. is uh, for everything. Right. The music tonight is pretty dope, though. Mm-hmm. It's all brand new. Oh, word? Yeah. Where'd you hear it on your Spotify uh, recommend? One of those things, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, motherfucker, nah, I mean. we up in this thing. Uh, Episode one ninety six. Where uh, no, no, were they at the uh, the fair? No, he went to go get bushes. He just came in right now. Mm, bushes, mm, yeah. But I hope you brought me somewhere. I'm shaving his bush. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling a little bushy today. Hell yeah, that shit goes hard though. <laughs> what bushes? Hell yeah, dude. And their sweet tea is. Off the chain. It's it's diabetes in, in liquid form, but that is the shit. God damn. I had to quit that shit. The sweet tea? Yeah. Hell, see, that's my problem now. I'm back on the sweet tea. <laughs> but you know what chicken that I love the most? Mm. Golden chick. That's pretty good. I loved golden chick. Which one, which one am I thinking of? I know, I know what it is, but, but we have two chicken joints right across the street from each other in Tomball. Okay. Is it KFC? No, no, it's like golden chicken, hearts, hearts, hearts. chicken. I, I don't think I've had hearts. I don't think I have either, so I'm, I'm, I must be thinking of golden chicken, that's the shit. It's, I've, it's good. I've had chicken express, it's a good second to- uh, I think that's it. It's a good second to golden chick, but golden chick takes my heart, I'm not gonna lie. For me, it's Zaxby's. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I gotta go with Zaxby's. I got nothing against golden chick. Is that the one that's in- uh? Uh, a chicken express is that the one that's in Caldwell? No, that's Golden Chick. Golden Chick, but okay. they're 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 they've been closed for like forever. For real? Yeah, I haven't been to Caldwell in forever. Yeah. Last time I went to Caldwell was last year when I when I got my uh my sticker updated on my truck, <laughs> which that's coming up by the way. Hey. See if I can make it another year without <laughs> without getting it without getting pulled over. Goddamn! Just take a whole bunch of fucking back roads. <laughs> you lying? Yeah, I mean, that's no, how I'm we saying. do it. That's how we do it, and screw it. Hey. Big Boss Hog. Oh, my God. STS 420. Oops. That'll work, too. Welcome to Shoot the Shit with Zeke. It's one of our and Brian. It's your boy, Zeke, a.k.a. Big Daddy from Cincinnati, a.k.a. New T for this, a.k.a. Vishon. It's Israel, a.k.a. The Quiet Riot. It's Brian. As Israel just said, Navar just got here, so who knows when he'll be here? Who right. knows if he'll be here? Who knows if he still likes us? <laughs> Ian but we got no guests tonight. You're stuck with us, as, as always. You know, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. episode 200, we got something lined up. Ooh. Ooh. Like Coke. Yes. Hey. I actually found a... Uh, Coke? Yeah. Oh. I, found, I, found a, <laughs> I found a powder form of COVID, and we'll be shooting lines. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shooting lines. Shooting lines. <laughs> we, we break all all boundaries here, be easy. <laughs> We shoot lines and we. Uh, this is chaos, Brian. Oh, yeah. And we, and and we, we do weed. Yeah. <laughs> All the marijuanas. All types of marijuanas. <laughs> it's possible. There's shit ton of strains out there. Yeah. Start shooting. Start shooting uh, heroin. I mean, uh, not heroin. Uh, marijuanas in between our toes. Is this something that you're trying to say? Yes. I found a new love. <laughs> Is it called Haru? Her name is Horse. <laughs> She's all right. She's all right. She's all right. She gets my fix. She brings me down. <laughs> I thought 
thought she was an upper. Heroin? Hell no. That's <laughs> no, like that's the a, worst downer. Yeah. It's a God big damn. downer. Hell yeah. Who the fuck likes heroin then? <laughs> the problem is, is who doesn't like heroin? It's it's like, was it some, who, there was, I think Sam Kinison or some comic said that like, it's like taking a bath full of kittens. God damn. It's amazing. Oh shit. Yeah. It's like one of the, obviously one of the most addictive drugs. That and fentanyl. What the fuck are we doing? You ain't lying. We fucking up. <laughs> we need to be having a party in this hoe. For real, goddamn. <laughs> Speaking of parties, are you guys ready to party? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. This music is fucking lit, son. Mm-hmm. Hashtag turn. Hashtag shot, 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 shot. Hashtag, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just pulling shit out of here now. All right, episode 196. Here we go. Yes. Ah, nice. Tom Morello from uh, Rage Against the Machine and uh, Bring Me the Horizon. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Pretty dope. I like that twang to it. Yeah. Mm. Nice little, I mean, I I haven't heard much of their music, so I don't know if that's their sound or what, but. it's a, It's been a little different, especially right now. Uh, Well, last year, last year, they kind of came out with like a a weird alternative pop album trying to be a little more mainstream yeah and it it was ass in my opinion sounds about right but the last two albums before it was good it sounded like that like Mm. serpentino and uh i think it was called drowned or something like that i can't remember but it it was pretty damn good i like that sound that they have that was pretty dope yeah i I mean it's obviously a lot more mainstream but it's just catchy so i was like "Eh, that's pretty cool i'm pretty i like where some of uh rock is going right now and that's one of the sounds it's doing Kind of like more radio friendly, yeah. but also hard. And that's so bitch made. Yeah. See, I don't like that shit. I don't like when it's bitch made like that. That's why I don't. I don't know. Like that MGK shit. That shit ain't for me. <laughs> Fuck that guy. What is it? <laughs> MGK makes music for guys who uh who memorize the. Uh, was it uh? Oh, I can't the, the legal age of consent in every <laughs> state. <laughs> Goddamn. You know, I've, I've, I've never heard any of MGK. Uh, I did, know UGK. Facts. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Now he he used to be a rapper, and now he's doing pop punk. Pop punk, yeah. He uh he did the culture vulture shit, got famous, and was like, all right, I just want y'all to remember, I'm still white. <laughs> <laughs> so there goes my uh there goes my rock shit or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, bubblegum punk. I don't know what the hell it is, but yeah. But I mean, he's been doing the pop punk stuff for a while. I don't know. Last time I heard any song from him, he was beefing with Eminem, and then uh-huh. Eminem made him go pop punk or whatever the fuck it was. God damn. He was like, let me show you how to rap real quick, bitch. Nah, he was in uh this one band, Sleeping with Sirens. And he wasn't in it, but he featured in it with them. And it was like 2012, 2011. Mm. So I kind of knew that he was in that realm. Yay. <laughs> Good. Nah, I, I don't know. He just, he ain't never been my cup of tea. Oh, yeah. I don't particularly care for a bunch of white rappers. And he fell in that demographic. <laughs> God damn. Just weird. Just Wait, like do you a, have a favorite white rapper besides Eminem? I don't know any other white rappers besides Eminem. <laughs> it will mainstream. If mainstream, it would probably have to be him. But like, you know, the quote unquote underground shit, there's tons that I know of that y'all y'all won't even Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, as far as mainstream, yeah. Mm. He's, he's Eminem probably takes the crown. What about uh Malcolm Moore? He's a fucking pop star okay more more or less like he makes like anthem music mm, yeah like thrift shop and then the uh hands up song whatever like he does a lot of and then what was the other one he made the song about mopeds the fuck yeah so he does oh. shit like that okay shit i thought he was a rapper my bad he i mean he does but it's right. it's like pop rap basically mm. that's where eminem had songs about killing his wife you know? <laughs> Which is <laughs> dropping know. the meth bombs. <laughs> yeah. Bath moms. I mean faggot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Actually may bring out the iPad so we can use the doper note drop. <laughs> 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 Sorry, be easy. Should have listened to you. Anyway, how was your mom's trip to Germany? Oh, she went to Germany? Yeah. Nice. Let me get the iPad ready. Y'all. Hey. Uh, yeah, she was gone for like a week and a half. Did so. she get some German sausage? 
Hi. Sure. <laughs> Not in that way. <laughs> this show would be the same without you. <laughs> uh. Well, I you're, thought it was a different fucking, thing. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like actual sausage. I thought there was like a different thing of sausage over there. Pretty much just sausage. <laughs> My bad. They probably taste different from what they because of what they feed the pigs. Fucking, but. Right. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> what else did she do? She went to go visit family. Yeah. Nice. So you got your nice little jersey on? Yeah. She yeah. Got, gave her a hundred bucks. She got me two jerseys. Nice. So. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know you What's were a sports the fan. What's uh, exchange rate? Well, uh, I looked at the pricing. It was like 65 euros for one jersey. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Hmm. Which is like what? In American. Oh. Uh, USD. I have no idea. What team is that that you're wearing? Germany. Yeah, no, but like what sport? Soccer. Oh. No, bitch. It's football. Football. It's football. It's okay. football. Yeah, she got me two because uh, like one, this one was discounted because nah. it was from a previous year. Okay. So. I don't know. You're into soccer. I'm not. Oh. You just like the jerseys? I just like the jerseys. They're comfortable. Nice. I like the hockey jerseys. Long, like almost almost long sleeve. Yeah. 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 And if not that the uh, the the baseball jerseys too. Mm-hmm. Give me one second. I want to test this air horn because the air horn is the determining factor of how loud this will be. That's no. eh, not that bad. Nah. I lowered a little bit though. STS four twenty twenty twenty. STS STS four twenty. Hey. Right, that cool. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. All right, folks, we're back in action. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, 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 fuck. Hell yeah. I think it's my favorite drop. <laughs> you don't want no part of this shit. Oh, shit. They're all back. You know what I'm saying? They're all back. Be easy. Should we do the intro? Just say it's Brian. Yeah, it's Brian. AKA. Hey, that was my favorite one, too. All right, folks, we're back. Later on, when we do Dope or Nope, we got a drop, and then whenever we start talking about nerd shit, we have another drop for that. Oh, you know skeet, saying? skeet. All right, so, anyway, so, your mom had fun, though? Yeah. Did you ask her, if, like, what, like, as far as, like, being, quote, unquote, normal, you know, with COVID and shit, what were the restrictions like over there? Uh, she said, yeah, it was a lot of restrictions. And really? Stuff like that, yeah. Did she have a quarantine was, for two weeks or something? Nah, she didn't quarantine or anything. She's vaccinated, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, like, sometimes oh, yeah. there's Super other areas. Strict, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to say, like, for them, their numbers aren't quite so bad. Yeah. But, yeah, they're still. They're still, like, Europe yeah. in general, they're just like, they don't play that shit. Yeah. I think in Austria, one person got it, and they shut the whole fucking, yeah, they shut dude. it all down. Yeah, they were like. Fuck this. Like, we're we not got one person. Around. Yeah. Everyone's going on lockdown for I think it was two to three weeks yeah. or something like that. They're like everyone to Locked your house. Down. Yep. Yeah. I was like, only God, only essential employees. Mm-hmm. That's it. And the moment you clock out, you better be heading your ass to the house or you're getting the ticket. Like they ain't playing that shit. Yeah, line. But dude, I think it's wild. I I had my orientation uh yesterday and they're all like, Yeah, you know, with our COVID stuff, it's it's a little tricky. We can't really um they can't really, you know, make you, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they make you go home and all that, but coming back, you don't need like a negative test. They're just like, as long as you feel better, you can come back to work. Apparently that's how it is at Enterprise yeah. now. A word? hmm Yeah, because like, because of all these laws that Texas passed for like COVID and all that stuff, it's not really like heavy on like, hey, you need to be better in order for you to go come back to work. It's more like once you do feel better, like after four or five days, come back. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I know that because I was talking to my boy Charles and he said that that's how they're doing it as long as you're vaccinated. Right. But if you're not vaccinated, that's all a different ballgame. Yeah. Basically, you could kind of just lose your job. Right. Because you're you're out for too long. Mm -hmm. Like they're like that two week shit, that whole two week grace period, that's over with now. So you better. 
be vaccinated and hope that everything is all right. Obviously, they don't want you to fucking die. Yeah. You know, but they're like, you got to be vaccinated. If you do catch it, then, you know, we know you at least tried, Mm -hmm. you know, with the vaccine. Right. And you can come back sooner than later. But if you don't, then you got to go through the same thing I went through whenever I got it. It's like two negative tests within 48 hours and a doctor note. Damn. Yeah. Which I get. I mean, you know, they're trying to run a business. What I do like about it is because I'm trying to get my old job back with full time as they change the hour. So it's not like Where, fucking six to enterprise? six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just can't do that shit anymore, man. Mm. The heavy lifts and stuff. Right. No, I get it. That was a, that was a great half day of work though. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy made it a whole half day. Hey. Not even really. Oh, word. Cause I got there at seven, watched two hours of fucking videos. And then by the time I got there, it was like back on the, on the, you know, the floor, I guess. Yeah. It was like 9.45. So I only worked for like two hours. Damn. And then I fucked my back up. And then you're like, I'm out. Sorry, guys. Bro, my legs were like shaking. Damn. Like I could not stand on my own two feet. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Damn. So yeah, that job was fun. <laughs> for two hours? Yeah, everyone there was cool, though. No, oh, that's cool. That's at least. good. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, you, you would at least want a job where you can be like, yo, what up, fool? What's going on? Be bro, your natural self. Yeah. Bro, I don't know what it is with white folks. Because I'm going to need you to explain this to me. I saw someone who looked your age. He was he just turned 18. Dude, yeah. Full beard, salt and pepper beard. God damn. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, bro. He he was like, he was like uh, what year did you graduate? And I was like, 2007. He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm 32. He was like, you're 32 i was like yeah man then he pulled his beard out he goes bro he goes, i just turned 18 like four months ago what the yeah fuck? salt and pepper you know how you buy whenever you let your hair grow you have those little silver sh- the, you know yeah. silver fox streaks yeah. he had that damn i was like bro what, like, why are you aging in dog years already though that shit is crazy <laughs> i don't know i guess white people are dying faster I, I don't because i had some some other fucking dude there he came up to me and he was like talking to me like in English and Spanish, and he asked me how old I was. I told him 32. He goes, you're 32? I was like, yeah. He goes, bro, I'm 25. He was like, you look like you're 17. I was like, yeah, I get that a lot. I know. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'll take it as a compliment, though. Yeah, dude. I feel like I need ID you all the time. Right? <laughs> I don't even drink anymore. <laughs> Just for you to see R-rated movies. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I think it's wild. Because I remember in high school, there was this one kid who was balding like bad and he was like high testosterone and uh i think he was sophomore when i was already a senior homie was balding bad dude i was like wow you look old like you look older than me and i look old yeah i know i I got kind of told a couple times when i was in high school i looked a little bit older than i was yeah um didn't help that you know i smoked and drank a lot yeah, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did that? No. <gasps> this is a Christian podcast. Oh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> well, no, we'll roll with the allegedly on the shrooms, but we know you were a fucking, <laughs> you were a piece of shit there for a while, B. <laughs> you drunk smoking fucker. I mean, freaking Navarre has all those fucking stories about you being fucked up. Yeah, dude, we've got, pic- we got photo evidence. <laughs> Of us being trashed at 11 in the morning. We got Motorola <laughs> photo <laughs> Yeah, you ain't lying. Goddamn. She's me and BZ trash trying to change a fucking windshield wiper. <laughs> I still have that picture. No, I don't have that picture. I got the picture you sent of me and Gabriel yeah. that same day. Yeah. But, Fucked up uh, and chilling. Yeah, no, Gabriel wasn't drunk. He, oh, okay. was, I was drunk standing next to him. I think BZ took the picture. But yeah, we were all ragged out looking and shit. Eyes all red. You like, used to wear those big ass fucking polos, big yeah. ass jorts. Jorts. <laughs> the yeah, but on him, socks. they looked like fucking capris. Ca- fucking capris, because <laughs> they went like down to here. Goddamn. <laughs> like some soldier boy shorts. <laughs> that was all the way down to my cankles. Soldier boy. That's hilarious. Yeah. Do you miss those days? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Damn. I miss not having back pain. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I miss the health I was in at the time, but uh, 
some of those days, yeah, well, they were a little rough. I think I'm more healthier now than I was when I was younger, except for in, in senior year. Senior year, I was super healthy. Yeah, I know. Like working out, that definitely helps me. Mm. Some sometimes, because I I don't I I know I don't know how to properly do a lot of the exercises like the stretches and stuff. Yeah, so I can actually fuck my back up more, mm. which kind of sucks. Have you tried yoga? Yeah, I used to do it a lot, but uh, I just stopped. Would it help you with your back? No, mm. not really. It would help with my hips and my legs, but and like some like my upper back a little bit but my, yeah. but my lower back is fucked yeah so I, I mean it helps but to a certain extent right huh i wish we had one of those like uh stretchy backs where you can you know just stretch and all that and be all right and never like have any problems with it it'd be fucking nice you know i used to have one of those <laughs> <laughs> but then you had scoliosis yep i was just like uh, I was looking at skateboards the other day, and I was like, because there's ways to skateboard without popping your jumping around and shit. Yeah. Just like grinding curves without jumping. And I, and I was like, man, that shit is so cool, but that's like old school shit. And then I started watching guys like my age, like try to jump on stuff like this high, like ledges, hitting their shins. And then they're like, I'm fucking done. And then they're off for like three weeks. And I was like, that curb shit is sounding real nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that noise. Like getting a shinner, oh my god! Oh yeah, Ooh. that hurts. Oh hell no! You know what? I didn't. Don't they like put candle wax on the yeah, like on the curbs? Yeah, yeah. so we can just slide. You know, slide right across it. Okay. Yeah, because I remember doing that when we were kids. We were just candle waxing all the little curbs and all yeah. that. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, they call it a uh, slappies, mm. so that you don't pop your tail at all. That way, you don't. The, the impact is as low as pos as possible. Right. You know. Huh. Speaking of skateboarding, I watched. That nine club skateboarding interview with this. Remember the dude who talked about muscle memory not being a thing? Yeah. They did a full like three and a half hour interview with him. Talk about it later because I want Navar to hear it. Okay. But he dropped some. The link is in the description. I'll just say that. If you're going to, if you've never listened to a podcast, they don't interest you at all. This is the only one you should ever listen to. He just subtly drops shit like, oh yeah, this is about blah, blah, blah. This is what happens with deja vu. This is what happens with. Uh, anxiety. This is what you do for back pain, but just like in regular conversation, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Every single thing he says yeah. is something beneficial. It can oh, help shit. every single person who listens to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is Link fucking beneficial. In the bio. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, his name is Andrew Huberman. I said that link is in the description. Look I think up. I think everyone should listen to it. He he went on Dak Shepard's podcast and pretty much talked about the same thing, but it was only for like two hours. On that nine club interview, there's a little bit of skateboarding talk, yeah. but he's not like he was never a professional. He's a neuroscientist. Yeah. But yeah, he just talks about crazy shit. I mean, hmm. I mean look, that's all. That's just three things I took from that, that whole thing. Yeah. God damn. Just so y'all could get a, like a clip, a, gl yeah. a little glimpse of what it. I mean, I'm talking like everything. They're like, oh, what about this? He goes, oh yeah, blah blah blah. What about this? Blah blah blah. It's just every single thing he drops is informational. It's like educational, and I was like, holy shit. Hmm. I just couldn't stop listening to it. Damn, I haven't heard a podcast in a minute, dude. The day we were texting, I was like, I haven't heard any podcast, whatever. Yeah. That was the first one I listened to. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to listen, listen to this it. one. It's three and a half hours. I'm just going to fucking take Kane on a walk. And then I started listening to it. I was like, oh shit, this is really dope. Like, huh. you dropped in fucking knowledge. God damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. We'll talk about that here shortly. If when, Navar, if, if, if if Navar comes, comes in, someone should probably text him and. Oh yeah, let him know that. Yeah, we're here. I, I mean, well, I mean he knows we're here, yeah. but yeah, it, ask him if he's coming in or whatever. But yeah, oh, you want to do some some nerd talk? Sure or no? Yeah, I'm down. Sure. Ready for this new drop? Ooh. Oh, oh shit! Here we go, people. When you hear this, it's about to get nerdy. You know what I'm saying? Nerd alert! Nerd alert! <laughs> <laughs> So, this new thing they put on Disney Plus, Star Wars, Visions, or whatever it is. Have you, have you heard anything about this? Uh, I haven't really looked too much into it. Um, I know there's this YouTuber I follow, and I think he did a discussion on like the first episode or whatever, or first two episodes, but I haven't sat down and watched it yet. But from what I'm gathering is that it's basically like Star Wars 
meets samurais. Oh shit! Yeah, like it's like mm. a lot of like lightsaber Action. battles and shit like that. Mm. That's from that's what I'm getting from it. At least it, it like the little clip I saw. Yeah, it looked pretty dope. I saw like a little trailer on Instagram. I was like, oh, yeah. that's fucking crazy. It looks good. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't watched it. But then again, I haven't watched. So it's already out. I believe so. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, but I haven't even watched What If, so. Right. Yeah. What If is getting interesting, dog. Like, the last couple of ones have been kind of, like, sad, but this new episode was pretty interesting, and I think it's leading up to something. Mm. Mm. Well, if it does, let me know and I'll watch it. I just, I mean, with that show, I just really have no desire to watch it. No, I get it, but yeah. right now, like, they introduced, like, this OP character, and we think, like, he's probably going to be something else in the phases maybe maybe mm. who the watcher maybe him oh obviously him but there's another like villain oh uh, mm. i don't want to ruin it if y'all don't watch it i mean like i said i, I i'm gonna binge though because i heard yeah. they're only like 30 minutes or something like that. yeah it's really short it's really short episode yeah. so like it's not like i'm gonna waste an hour per episode yeah. watching it so it's not a big deal I'm, yeah. i'll binge them i just like when they first came out, I, I remember hitting play and I was like, "I'm nah. going to sleep." Yeah, and I just like <laughs> went to sleep. I, it's like nothing against. It. I just oh yeah, it's you know, if it's it was not, like live action, maybe that that would have been cooler, right? But you can also get away with a lot more animation, you know, through yeah. animated shit. So I get it. But yeah, I, I'm just ready for the next show. They're gonna is it gonna be Hawkeye? Yeah, it's Hawkeye coming out. That trailer was fucking dope, dude. Yeah, and they're touching on him being. Uh, deaf now. Uh, Ronan, right? Mm-hmm. No, deaf. Like he can't. Oh hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's yeah. gonna be like Brian. Brian. Oh shit! Is he gonna be Hawkeye for Halloween? <laughs> for real? He's like, huh? 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 Brian's gonna run shoot random people and shit. <laughs> Eli. I thought they said something about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> I read his lips. I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you can read lips? Not at all. <laughs> but Sometimes I, think, I need but subtitles, but, but it doesn't it's... work in real life. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool though if they did have like glasses that did that for people oh, who were dude, deaf? Yes, that'd be not only dope. that with translation too. Yeah, that that'd be fucking dope. Yeah, and they could like so you I, you speak Spanish, I speak English. We could have a full blown conversation, right? And we'll just see the like little translation. I mean, that's thing. we're we're talking like at least twenty thirty. Oh yeah, because I think they that, I think that technology is not too far away. Because the glasses, yeah. yeah. Cause I remember the Google Glasses were yeah. doing something like that, but it was all fucked up. It was all janky. Mm-hmm. But that would be dope if they could like get it More, down. Yeah, yeah. Or your phone does it. Like okay, you know. Oh, I mean, it does do it, but well, wasn't there like a some? I think Samsung was doing it in Europe for a little bit. It was like one little earpiece you put in your ear, and it would tr- translate like mm-hmm. in real time. I've heard something like that, but it was but like, but it was like laggy, and like some of the words were like. Not, off because, yeah. well, because you know like when you speak to someone from mexico they're brrr, yeah. it's like a million miles a second so and then plus we we speak a lot of slang too, yeah, yeah yeah compared to like the in, actual in spaniard spaniard spain yeah. yeah but that would be dope though you lying talk about changing the game right i wouldn't i would have zero fears traveling <laughs> right i could just be like okay what about this da, 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 da. and then you just give them your your piece like oh oh okay or, you know, they've already got it because hopefully it's affordable. You're right. But I doubt it. But it's technology, man. Yeah. You know, these phones are like, what, a thousand a piece? Yeah, me and Sarah, I was looking at upgrading and I was like, because I don't want the new 13 because it's literally the same thing as yeah. the 12. Like, basically with a slightly better camera. I'm like, I don't need all that shit. Yeah. But I was looking at it and like, just like, because she, I don't know, for some reason she likes the big phones and that thing was like 14, 1300 bucks, whatever. I was like, I'm good on just a regular pro. I don't like this big phone. No? No. It's too much for you? I got a little baby ass hand. <laughs> like trying to reach across this motherfucker just throws my whole fucking arm out of socket. <laughs> Imagine using your small hand. <laughs> right? But if both my hands were that small? <laughs> right. Like, sir, all we have is the Pro Max. Fuck. All right, you got any styluses or something? <laughs> <laughs> I need some help here. <laughs> my whole my whole hand fits on one of the keys of the, you know, the keyboard. <laughs> right. I'm, I, the only thing I could do for you is an SE. <laughs> <laughs> a little bitty, uh, or the mini. Yeah. Yeah. That little piece of shit phone. Wait, what else do we have? What else did I have nerdy? 
I did see something that I thought was pretty dope. Is that new Wolverine game that they they've got coming out? Oh, okay. It's basically is like Square Enix making it, or is it someone I, I, else? I'm not even sure. I just know basically it's going to be like the new, the most recent Spider-Man game, pretty semi open world. Oh shit! Yeah, hmm. instead of just direct story driven, like I wonder if it's going to be like shit talking the whole time. Probably because what, what was the uh, what was he Madri- Madripoor? Uh, where in a uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, yeah, Madripoor, whatever. It starts off with him and Madripoor at that bar. Oh, remember oh shit. T- yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. that he owns him and that chick own. Yeah, and it's just like him, and there's like all these dead bodies behind, or at least you know, like laid out bodies. And he's like pouring himself a drink, and then one of the guys gets up, and he like slams his fist down, and the three claws come out, and it's like mm. Wolverine. It didn't give a date or anything, but yeah. I was like, damn, that looks dope. Oh man, that looks so cool. Oh, I hope it's good. Yeah, I hope so. Because remember how Square Enix make that um, Avengers game, and it was like ass. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they're doing. I hope not. Mm. But yeah, I think it may be the same people who made the Spider Man game. Oh, so Sony? Yeah, I think so. So if that is the case, well, I don't know. I don't, yeah, would they be able to? That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, maybe the, the, the maybe developers. the same the developers. Yeah. Okay, got you. I don't know, but yeah, it's like it's saying it said like producers from that game, the Spider Man game. Mm. So hopefully it's similar to spider-man right because i haven't played it but it looks dope dude i can't wait for the skins because you know he has different like iconic costumes yeah. like the the yellow one the orange one from uh uh x-men uh evolution i think and then his uh the one that he wears in um the x-men movies the live yeah. actions I just, the, only, the only one i would really wear is just the the limo driver suit <laughs> just him looking all shitty like he's got scoliosis and no, dude. I, I, I would have liver. him wearing the wife beater and the little like uh, was it that little button up shirt that he had on when he oh, was like dying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the little the jeans. little Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Was it? yeah, or what, what was the what, damn it? What was the, his evil from Logan? I can't remember. It was like his daughter? No, the uh, him, but like the evil version, the one that was all cracked out on the fucking uh, the soup, the serum can't remember it's been a while well that version of him i can't remember what he was wearing but that shit was tight mm, i can't remember i'm trying to all all it's popping up is uh, saber tooth i wonder saber tooth is gonna be in there probably nice. gotta, be. gotta be that's like yeah this is classic like rivalry brother, yeah is it armano 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 the actual person who made him into wolverine Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. In the comic books, it was originally him. But later on in the stories, they made it into that one dude. Striker. General. Yeah. Nice. Well, I don't know. I hope it's dope. Yeah. And hopefully it's not fucking PlayStation exclusive. Hopefully it is. Yeah. Why is that? Because I just want to be a dick. <laughs> I was going to say, what, you got a PS5 we don't know about? <laughs> no. No. Nah. No, nah, I don't even have time to do all that shit anymore. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I'll ask you after. Yeah. Talk about that shit a li- little later. Mm. Let's talk about some funny, weird shit. Like Hold what? On one second. Oh, right, let me ask you this, and then we'll get into this. We may have talked about this, and we're almost 200 episodes in, so we probably have. I don't know. Would you let somebody hypnotize you? Not, and not like the whole, like, oh, quack like a duck, and blah, blah, blah. Not that shit, but I like... You know how they, they have like that was like hypnotherapy or whatever. Uh-huh. It's like say be easy one to stop smoking or whatever, and they mess with your brain a little bit. I would if someone is there with me, like outside, just to see how if they did anything like that's way beyond from what they were supposed to do. I don't think I would. Really? Yeah. Like even for your alcohol. Hmm. I already kicked that. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like if you ever or no, I I I know I don't I don't know I just don't, I don't think I'd feel comfortable like the thought of someone messing with my already like crazy mental state mm-hmm. <laughs> like I don't want that being altered with like I'm just getting a grasp a grasp on it. Right, like if it's something that's really like bad for me like super bad that I'm, I'm starting to notice it's affecting everybody else i'll probably think about it for sure 
Well, it should be easy. Yeah or nay? Nah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, that always seemed weird to me because, like, it can work. Yeah. That's the weird thing is that, like, it, the, you know, studies have shown that, like, like when they put the little, you know, little brain test on people and shit, whatever, like, oh, yeah, something's definitely different in the way your, your, was a brain wavelength or whatever. Right. Like, something changed. I'm like, I don't know about all that shit, man. That's just kind of weird. Yeah, if it's, like, causing, like, big problems outside of my own, like, it's affecting someone else's life to be more worse than it is, then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably think about it for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, you're brave for that one, but I wouldn't do it. Too crazy for me. Alrighty. Well, I was going to wait for Navarre for this one, but apparently this is the thing. Trans scrotal piercings. The fuck is that? Kind of like how it sounds. They put a big ass gauge through your bean bag. What the fuck? Kind of like how Navarre has his ears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell no! Yeah. Would you be able to see inside of it? I mean, Navarre said the the plug he sent me was bigger than the one he has in his ears. And oh, the dude hell was like, no. "New transcrotal piercing or gauge for my bag." Right. I mean, that's way too far for me, dog. No, there's got to be stuff in there that's. There's stuff in there that needs to be protected, man. In your line. I don't want that shit drying out. Even with... Oh, God. Nope. Even with all the, like, piercings that Navarre has, I feel like he has too much. Yeah. That's yeah. in my opinion. No, that's mine, too. But... Yeah. He to can eat, do whatever the fuck he yeah, wants. to eat their own, man. Yeah. Whatever makes yeah. him happy. As long as he ain't fucking, you know, throwing kittens and ovens and shit, then in I don't care. Line. Yeah. But... If it was my choice, I'd have been like, no, uh, I'll maybe do my ears, but that's it. I tried to do my ears, and even then, I was like, looks weird. No, it's just, it's just, it's a lot of maintenance. Like that's what. Ask him. I'm pretty sure he'll tell you. It's a lot of fucking maintenance. Oh, you try to it. gauge your ears. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm saying like piercing my ears. I have my ears pierced too, and it's not for me. Okay. Because I would probably do like the fake diamonds. No, that oh, would yes. probably be it. That's what I had. The big ass <laughs> fucking cubic zirconia. Right. Yeah. Like they're nine hundred, but for you. $10. You're like, oh, damn, that's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Earrings don't look good on someone like me. So, trust me, they don't look good on someone like me either, especially when I had no facial hair. Yeah. I looked weird. I think they'll look all right on me. I feel like I'll be like one of those uh, secret agent people if I put some sunglasses, a black well, suit, and all that. But you got to, you see, you got to get the Michael Jordan hoop. Michael Jordan. Just the hoop. One, <laughs> one hoop on your left ear. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But Brian, you got to do it with me, bro. If you get your ears pierced, I'll pay for it. <laughs> but you we'll got, but you got to, you got to go to consortium and have have it done right the way you don't get if an infection. I were to do yeah. it, we got to be like making money like here, because I can't do it at my job. They're they're not. They don't let uh, earrings and shit. O only for women, not men. What kind of fucking? They're very, um, st stoic with uh, with which job. Isn't... The older or the older the new or new one. one? Oh, both. Because since I work with both of them, oh, trash. Yeah, no. Fuck, go get some snake bites. <laughs> get the uh, disturb fucking piercing that he has. Oh no, hell no. <laughs> What's that thing called? Like a right here, just the one. Like right, it's like right in the middle of his lip, right? No, no he, he has, has two. Three. Oh, three? he has three. I thought he has two. Oh, see, I've, I've had two, the, I thought it was three. I can't remember. I, I've You're had, probably right. I've had. It's the been a while since I've seen him. I've had the two, the snake bites. You had snake bites. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Not for he very was a long. Regular little hippie. Not for very long. You don't like it? <laughs> no, I it. I took them out because I had the studs in, like the little bars, whatever it was. And while I was eating ramen noodles, that little backing kept getting caught in my teeth. So I took them out to eat, and then I fell asleep. Mm. And I woke up and the left side was completely healed over. Yeah. The right side I could still fit shit in. Right. Like the little what twenty two gauge, whatever, like your regular piercing. Yeah. Back, I can stick that through there. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do my ears and then I'll probably do like get like a little thing right here and that's it. That shit takes forever to heal. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. On cartilage? Yeah. But I, I ain't as brave as Brian over here doing my dick. Easy. Would you, would you add on to your ladder? 
Would you get a vibrator? <laughs> for what? No, like vibrator piercing. Yeah, for what? You ain't got nobody use it on. Right? I mean, you, it's you gonna be at know. least another four years before I date again. God damn. He gets women like he he gets women as consistent as he upgrades his phones <laughs> every fucking ten years. <laughs> damn. Pretty much, yeah. Nah, I think he's slain, dude. I think he just does. I love us. Brian, but I feel like you're giving him too much credit. <laughs> really? You <laughs> definitely are. <laughs> okay. I'm just playing. We love you, easy. But you are trash. Goddamn. I don't think I'd get any more piercings. No, you wouldn't nah. do it again? Nah. Too much work. What about tattoos? I've been thinking I would like to get more tattoos, but. Would you do like that one rapper just did and go under full anesthesia the way you can have your shin tattooed? Damn. What a fucking bitch move. I mean, it's kind of smart. But that's that defeats the whole purpose of a tattoo. Yeah, I know, yeah. but if you really want it that bad, just saying. That's a bitch move. It is. I, I'm not saying that, you know, like it's it's not a good move. I'm just saying like, you know, it's pretty smart of him to like, all right, fuck it. But I don't got, want to feel a thing. But they got numbing cream for that. Yeah, but it's, it's not enough. I don't know. I ain't never I ain't never used any of it. So I mean I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. Right. right. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was some bitch shit. I was like, this little queer. You go under full and then he like made a video of it, like a music video out of it. What the He's fuck? He's all like like with the fucking mask on and everything. Right. And then you just see all these tattoo artists. They're like doing like Zooming in, zooming out, like drone shots. I'm like, aren't y'all in a hospital? How the fuck y'all getting these shots? <laughs> I'm just getting this shin tattoo. I was like, what a pussy. <laughs> what a panocha. What a panocha. What a panocha. A la verga, we. Nah. What'd you get another tattoo? Hell yeah. What What would you get? I'd get fucking sleeves and everything. Oh, word? Sleeves and hmm. below the legs and below, below my knees and shit. Yeah. Nice. Hands, neck. I'd, I'd get all that shit. Everything. Yeah. On your face? Nah. And on your neck, like right here? Yeah. I go so far, you know. But yeah, no, I don't I don't have a problem with tattoos. Okay. Tattoos are tattoos are dope. It's just people go ridiculous. Like I think it was either the last episode or the episode before, like the blackout shit. You're right. Like when it's just that with nut like you I think you're talking about putting like white tattoos in it. Yeah. That would be cool. But it defeats the person. Like I mean, yeah, it just it's just too much work. Yeah, it just doesn't. Because you're make doing it. like a whole bunch of layers of black, and then after that, you got to go over it with white. Yeah, when you have your skin tone right. for that. So I'm like, nah, it's just I don't know. But yeah, if you're getting dope shit, then cool. But I, I would never do any of those like traditional, like I don't know, like how Rogan has the koi and then the yeah, like the, the uh, Japanese traditional whatever. I would never do anything like that. I'll probably get some like Aztec stuff, but not anything like you yeah, know, outside of that. Like if I could do the what you call it, the uh, ancestry, find out what tribe it is, right? You know what are I'm actually from, what I, what I, or at least what I'm predominantly have in me, then I would do something like that. Mm. But nah, not, nothing crazy. I'll probably definitely get like a Texas tattoo though. Oh, you got to <laughs> hell yeah, you straight wet tex <laughs> wet tex. I am mad at that, though. <laughs> but I do, I do think it's ridiculous when people get, like, I don't know. Like, I don't mind people getting tattoos for, like, certain memories. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would get STS 420 on me. Mm-hmm. Like, if this was, like, to end after this episode, I'd be like, dude, that was a dope almost five years I had with my yeah. boys. You know, like, I can look back on it wherever it is and be like, that was fucking dope. Even though we have a whole archive of it. You're right. But still, you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, we did that shit. I wouldn't mind getting a grip tattoo with y'all. Yeah. I would do it. It's not like yeah. tattoos ain't shit to me. You know, they're just tattoos. They don't hurt. You're not right. me. But you know, oh, I never had one, so I don't know how it depending is. Depending on where you get it, right? You know, if you get it behind your bicep, yeah, you gonna regret that shit. Hey. Every every inch of it, <laughs> you gonna regret it. <laughs> Brian, do you have a tattoo? Yeah. Where is it? It's bicep. Oh, I don't remember seeing it. What is it? it says I slap at the base. A slap at the... Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Needs to be touched up. Get some more color into it. Yeah, you're just a pasty bitch. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> it's gotten sunburnt a couple times, so... 
gotten worn out. Yeah, but later on it's gonna be black and white. No, no, the the color I know, because he's so like honestly because he's so pasty, the yeah. color will stick out. He just needs to get it touched up. That's the only bad thing about tattoos, right? Like you you look at my wrist, like he went real heavy on this one, but not so heavy on my around my left wrist. So that's why it's like there's spots where like the ink just is gone, right? But you have the like the old school tattoos where it's like green. It looks green. Yeah. Oh shit! I, when did I get this? Two thousand seven, I think. Yeah. I think all my tattoos are from two thousand seven, two thousand eight. The the only one I'm never gonna get touched up is one of my ribs. <laughs> Fuck that noise! I'd have been laughing that that dude misspelled it, or misspelled a word or something like that. That'd be hilarious. I'm so glad he was like every single letter, looking at it. Rereading the whole thing, go looking at every single letter, like, and then that that pastor was there to to correct him. Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious if you have like one word where it's yeah, like, like a bad. massive tattoo, and then there's like one word misspelled. <laughs> I'd be fucking pissed. <laughs> that that's a, that tattoo should be free. To be honest. There's got to be like a success rate. If 98% of it's correct, then you got to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> but if you fucked up like a whole like paragraph, like fam, <laughs> this is in Russia. What is this shit? This ain't what I asked for. <laughs> yeah. I ain't paying for that shit. In line. Gonna be fucked up. You know what I want to know? You know how people get like Japanese like tattoos where it's like a word or something like that? Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's the actual translation. A lot of people have said that they're like, because... What is it? It's either Chinese or Japanese. One of those, like, they can mean, like, 40 things. Like, one symbol can mean, like, 40 things. Right. So they'll be like, oh, this means peace. But in actuality, it can mean something like, I don't know if it's true, but it's like slave owner. Yeah. Like, it could just mean anything. Because there's so many different, like, variations, variations of it. Of it. Mm. So you have to be real careful. Right. So, like, if you're going to go get something like that, you need to go... And have it done traditionally with the little sticks and all that shit. Right. So that way it's accurate and done in that by that person who speaks that, yeah. that language. No, I think what's crazy though is that in Samoa you have to get a tattoo. Mm-hmm. It's like a part of their tradition. And I have a friend who's Samoan and if you get a tattoo, you gotta sit through it the whole way. And if you don't one session? Yeah. Oof. But if you don't, you're you're basically banned from the, the tribe. Damn. Yeah. It's like, it's like tradition. Like yeah. It's a law. It's like, hey, you got to do this. If you get a tattoo, you got to watch out how big, where, and all that. Because you're sitting through it the whole way. In a, in a, what is it? It's, it's either New Zealand or Austria. It's like that too. The indigenous tribes there. Mm-hmm. A lot of the guys, they have one that goes into the armpit. Like it's like a, a swirly thing. Yeah. Starts at the elbow and then goes into their armpit, like around their arm. And they're like that traditional tapping shit and I was like imagine having that shit on your arm like a, a tattoo gun in your armpit fucking hurts as it is but tapping like yeah and like yeah. it's not like they're like yeah a slow stab mhm jesus but imagine like losing your tribe for not like for being a tapping bitch. out yeah <laughs> <laughs> like all right i'm gonna tap out all right you're out of this tribe what uh, willie's bitch made he's out <laughs> But yeah, you got to really plan out where you want it and how big you want it because again, you got to sit through. You got to sit whole through it, and then like, it has to have a meaning to it, right? Yes. It can't just be like some like I'll go mm. with this swirly shit. Like it yeah, has to yeah. have like a it has to represent something. I think it's like something like your name, your tribe, and who you are. Yeah, like I something think. that reflects you yeah. as a person. I think I could be wrong. Someone's please correct me. Don't don't kill us. <laughs> that it's, is dope though. It's been a while since I spoke to to my friend. You know, there's a. You know, we, we, you know, we say Hawaii wrong. Yeah, it's Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Hawaii. But we're just goons and say yeah, we're fucking Hawaii. retards. <laughs> There's this girl from there in a tribe, and she was like, here in Hawaii. She was talking about how people moving there and buying property, raising the, you know. Taxes. The taxes and raising everything over there. Yeah. And someone commented, I was like, I hate the way you say Hawaii. So she replied in the comment, she goes, oh, you mean how we say it in every tribe here? Like Hawaii? how it's actually yeah. meant to say it? And they were like, "Don't no, it's not." Blah blah blah. In my in my class, where bitch in Wisconsin, <laughs> you're not a fucking native. Where they, where they call Lacroix Lacroix. Shut up, you fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> fucking carrying that fucking name. 
It's Hawaii. No, it's, it's fucking H- Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Like oh man, sounding like we're sounding like we know our, what we're talking about is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love Samoan culture. Like I, I follow a lot of Samoans on um on TikTok. I don't. I don't. But I, I, I've seen. I've come across a few videos. Hmm. That that culture is very dope. Yes, they're very really friendly people. Yeah, very, very friendly. Mm-hmm. And then I have a friend who's Samoan too. So he's, again, he, he tells me about the tribe over there and how friendly people are. But if you fuck up, they will like get mad. And they are very like they, they strict. Strict if you fuck up. But like you got to be like really like fucking up. Like I do bad against you, kind of thing. Yeah. Do you know I've been I've been watching a lot of videos on what's it? What looks so dope to go to? I can't remember the name of it, but it's a it's a part of Australia. Let me see if I can find it. You want to go to Australia? I yeah. have a passport. I've been wanting to travel, but I don't get vacations until I work a year. Which is so crazy here in America. Yeah. It's like you work all this time for like a week off. Yeah. That's fucking crazy to me. Paid vacations, word? Only a week, word? Down under. Down under. Coral Sea Islands. Mm. There's some spots By in the Mexico. Great Barrier Reef, that's what it is. Mm. There's some spots in Mexico that I, I want to check out because they look beautiful. My cousin's been going to <clears throat> Mexico. And he's been showing like a lot of snippets of it. It's beautiful. The beaches are beautiful. Still have zero desire to go to Mexico or South America. I mean, if you go to tourist areas, you'd be fine. But if you like drive into Mexico, you might be fucked. Or you're going to be fucked. Just got no desire. I've just, I've, I've. Literally every person I've talked to from there, they're like, yeah, we fucking escaped. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah, because I mean, like, if it's, for example, small town like this over there, it's ass. Just because you have the cartel that's like right next to you, who's all managing all these different stuff. You're like, fuck. Touristy parts, it's obviously they need to get money coming in. So they kind of like step back so that way the money can flow in compared to like the small towns where there's hardly any money. So they ruin the economy by, you know, like, hey, you got to work with me. Hey, you got to work with me kind of thing. Do you know who Chalino Sanchez is? No. Okay, so he's a singer who sang. Damn, I can't remember these. This brand of music. Hold on. Uh, nar- nar- narco Corrido. Oh. Yeah. Like what? Um, basically like... Slim Dog put? Ba- basically like gangster music. Yeah, for, but it's like Norteño kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw a video earlier on uh, Twitter where... I don't know, I gotta put this in the notes. Chalino. I may have known him, may, maybe, because I see a whole bunch of news about like Norteño bands from over there. And like, you know, they, they roll with Cartel, but you fuck up. They'll they'll find you, and well, they'll kill you. So there's a, I saw a video earlier of him getting a letter. Yeah, from he died in like the early nineties. Okay, uh, this is a he, different guy. Yeah, he he gets a letter while he's about to perform, and the letter says, "If you perform, we're gonna kill you uh, after the show." You've talked about this before. I just found out about it today. Well, I've definitely heard about it before. Someone was talking about it. I don't know. I just I, I maybe brought it up once. May, I don't maybe know. I just might have been a different person then. Yeah, because yeah. I just. I just found out about it. Like he got he got a letter and it said, "Uh, you got to, or someone's going to die or you're going to die, something like that." Mm. And he chose to keep performing, right? Yeah, and they yeah. killed him like yeah. right yeah. afterwards. Yeah, like right after. Yeah, I just I just found out about it this morning. But what was interesting about it was that, like four years ago, Netflix tried to send a crew in to do a documentary just about the deep history of, uh, narco corrido, whatever that type of music. Mm-hmm. And like they were like, "Hey, can you tell us about blah blah blah?" And like just mentioning those words, like people like froze up and they kind of like slowly drifted away. And the guy driving them, like the tour guide guy, whatever from that area, was like, "We gotta get the fuck out of here right now." Yeah, they're like, "What?" They're like we 
we're not we're no longer safe and they're like in the heart of mexico i can't remember the name it sounded like somewhere one of your parents is from okay so where's where are your parents from my dad's from san luis that's it okay they were there yeah. they were there and uh so I don't know which part of whatever, whatever it was, but they were, for, that's this. It's kind of near central. Okay. Yeah. So they had to drive back to Cali. Yeah. And they were like, you know, on, on the way there, they had all these cameras and everything. The dude's like, there's two vans, two just white vans with, uh, California license plates. This dude thought ahead. They pulled over like behind like some boulders or rocks, or whatever. Gr- took the license plates off, threw them and put California license plates on there or Texas license plates. So if they did get pulled over, they wouldn't think that it, they would know that it was them. Right. Dude, they had like fifty, sixty thousand dollar red cameras, like four of them. He goes, throw them. He's like, we do, if we get pulled over, we can't have any evidence that we were at, even asking about this. We can't have any evidence that we have cameras or anything. You write, if you took any pictures, you write them off your phone. It was because they will stop us, and they they're looking for us right now. They get like two, three hours into the drive. One of the dude, they pull over because one of the dudes has the piss. A fucking little uh truck like yours that white one pulls up behind them mm-hmm. and they're like they're talking to the dude in spanish like what the fuck are y'all doing here blah, blah blah they're like no these are just my friends they've never been here you know we're from uh texas we're going to we're just driving through to california they're like like we know you're lying just get the fuck out of here and don't come back dude this you know i don't know how far it is san luis is from it's california far. but by the time they got there the fucking border patrol was like we heard you guys were trying to shoot a documentary about blah blah, blah. And they're like what the fuck and they're like you don't get to keep these vans. They're ours now. Walk across the border. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. And they just went to like some part of it's California. It's wild, dude. Like, um, I, I forget whose who's documentary was it, but there was somebody who was talking about like shooting over there in Mexico about narcos, like narcos, uh, Netflix narcos. Mm-hmm. You got to be really touchy about certain things because if, if you say certain things or say or talk to somebody about certain things, can get pretty nasty. Yeah, I was, uh, I was looking into it. I was like, holy sheep shit. That is some scary shit, dude. Yeah. They happen to be on the run. Just, all the, all because they asked a single question. Like, hey, right. do you know someone we can talk to about this particular genre of, you know, music, whatever? And they're like. It's because probably homie who killed them is probably still alive. Uh, they, I, mean, you know, I guess they'll never know and we'll never know. Yeah. They just, they were like, they would probably the have fuck? to wait another maybe 10 or 20 years. I, don't I know. would say, I don't know, but the dude who lit, who I guess he was from Mexico, but he lives in California. He was like, We're not going back there. He's like, like Well, we need the documentary because you can consider that shit over with, dog. Because you yeah. didn't ask the wrong question in the wrong part of town or in the wrong town. That's done. He's like, You're fucked. Just keep, keep away. Keep these people away. You know what they could have done and they should have done instead of filming it? In Mexico, film in Cali and just bring people over there. The only thing is, they're gonna have to stay in Cali. See, th- I th- I think that's the thing is they wanted to be as authentic as possible, so they were like, for that one, fuck no. Yeah, but because uh, I'm assuming from what I'm getting, what I what I got from it was that that music is so tied to big gangs like Cartel, MS13, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. They're like, that's their thing. And if you even mention and you're you don't have the tattoos, you know, like the markings to prove it, right? You're pretty much a dead man. Like mm-hmm. you're a dead man walking. And that's the dude. The dude who was like their tour guy was like, "Yeah, we need to get the fuck out of here. We need to leave now." And he was like, "I'm gonna drive real fucking fast, and y'all keep up." And they were just hauling ass. And like, luckily there was like legit roads, but they weren't like nice roads and right. shit. I mean, they were lucky that the cartel came up to him and be like, "Just get out." Yeah, they were like, "Get the fuck out of here," because he said he was like the dude was speaking in Spanish because right. his face was blurred out because you know obviously he's from Mexico. Yeah, and he was like the dude. He said we got lucky. He goes, the man came up to me and said the fuck are you doing here what do you want who are you with who are you working for and guys like no i'm just showing my friends around he goes i know you're fucking lying you know we've heard from many people that you're here to shoot such and such he's like no 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 no. so they like search the cars and all that shit and luckily like miles back they dumped like three hundred thousand dollars worth of camera gear mm-hmm. or they would have been fucking killed yeah dude was real smart about it he said he said he's just lucky that they didn't say let me see your id because if they would have gotten addresses they would have yeah. been dead. Mm-hmm. They would have been fucking done for. Yeah, because if the cam- if they had the cameras, they would have killed them right there, or they would have been like, let me see your IDs, and they would have got a team. Just followed them. Followed yeah. them over there. And just 
waited to see what was going on. But usually they're ruthless. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He was like, he was like the whole time his his hands never left the wheel. He was like, mm-hmm. this is it. This is how I'm gonna die. And like they had like two women on the crew. Yeah, and the women were in the back. And like whenever they opened the back doors, like you know they're obviously they're like they sexually harassed them and shit. Like you know like do you have cameras? Yeah. And they're like no. So they were like, you know, yeah. being grabby and shit. But that was like the worst of the that it got like there was no guns pulled or anything right like, and at that point that's a little bit of a win yeah yeah because yeah, the women were even talking i'll send you the link it's okay. really good the dude was like the the women were like that was the scariest shit ever they were like uh one of the dudes had to shit real bad because he was he almost thought he was gonna die yeah and they're like motherfucker you better shit in your pants these fucking vans ain't stopping ho. <laughs> we, we're, we gotta, yeah, we gotta go. fucking go God damn, boy. But it was wild whenever they get to the border, the border patrol, like the Mexican yeah. border patrol, they were like, we know what you're here to do. Like, we, we, we like we've already- Like, it's well connected. They're like, we've every, already heard. And yeah. they were like, get out, the vans are ours, walk, and they had to walk like four miles to the border. But you get what I mean? Like, how, like, the cartels just boom, 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 yeah. boom. Like, they- Just they, a quick call, and they're like, if yeah. you see this van with these people in it, they were here to do some dumb shit, mm-hmm. and they're lucky to be out alive. Yeah, line. I was like, fuck, dude, that's scary. I was watching this shit the whole time. Like my anxiety was, right, I was like, like oh, dude. "Oh hell no!" Oh fuck that noise. That's cool though. Yeah, it's a good story. Yeah, I- I'll probably watch it if I. Yeah, I-, I was just like, it was on YouTube. I'll try to find it and I'll send it to you. It's like a fourteen minute video. Or whatever. Oh okay. Yeah, it's Sounds real short. Yeah. It's not long or anything. I was like, "Holy shit, that's some mm. crazy stuff." Oh, you know what? I think it was me and Navar who actually talked about it before. I think we did bring it up. Y'all may have, you know, yeah. like we're almost two hundred episodes yeah. in. At, at what point aren't we going to repeat ourselves? <laughs> so. We repeat ourselves all the time. Hell yeah! But yeah, I just I, I saw that on Twitter. I was like, oh fuck! And then you know, right? And then I started looking. You probably deeper saw it into for it. Uh, Mexican heritage. Yeah, Munch, yeah. yeah. Shit. Which is weird because it's like half of September and then half of October. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? You can you couldn't give us a real like month. <laughs> give us half of it. Sarah's dumbass keeps every time she wakes up. Good morning, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, do, do I say you know, uh, Happy Black History Month to you? <laughs> 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 She's retarded. She's trying to be woke, <laughs> right? Like, what the hell? She's gonna be like, Hi, this is my land next hubby. <laughs> <laughs> damn. What'd you do if she did say that? I don't know. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Reasonable reaction. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. It's over. <laughs> All right, here's a question for y'all. Yeah. All right, so say you're a cop, right? Now, you're just a cop, not green or anything, just a cop. Okay. We'll go on a crime scene. Okay. Find $100,000 in cash. What do you do? I ain't getting in trouble. I'm, I'm a... Be like, yo, I found this on the scene. If I can get like a war for it, that'd be great. But you know, that's never the case. Yeah, no, you never. That's evidence. That's evidence. You're right, but no, nah, I'm not. But gonna not take if it money. ain't found. You know what I'm saying? That's Fuck going that. On what if it's like a fucking like gang thing? Oh hell! Oh, you mean or the mark, people, or you, marked bills? Yeah. You yeah. mean the, the the people you just arrested? Fuck that! That shit's coming home with me, boy. <laughs> nah, I don't play around with that. I mean, if it if it's safe to take it. And they're all like, you know what? Just take it. Go for it. Dope. But nah. Funny enough, I saw another documentary about dirty cops. Uh-huh. Crazy shit. These motherfuckers are... There's some, there's cops in Illinois that are millionaires from dirty money. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, there's a... And then obviously, there's a bunch of cops who didn't want to be interviewed. But they're, like, in front of their house. And they're like, oh, this is an eight eight-bedroom two-story x amount of square feet house owned by an ex uh police officer who did three years on the on the force yeah he was like tech, i don't know their ranking system but right. he, he never even got a promotion he just did three years as like a oh yeah that's private or whatever like, yeah. yeah and they're like and he's, he, ha- he doesn't have a job so he just drug money dirty money whatever and invested all that shit yeah damn why did you do that brian no. No. You wouldn't be paid off? No. It just opens up a whole can of worms. Knee line. Knee line. Once you fall in that rabbit hole, that's, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you talk. Oof. 
What if you get a little drunk one day and you're just like, oh, yeah, Pedro? That's, well, I mean, I that's him. that's usually the case. Yeah. It's like they start taking money from like the mob or something like that and then or gangs. And then they're like, I want out. I was like, no, you don't get to get out. You got to fulfill those favors. Yeah. You know, we've got you in our pocket now. And it's never ending. No. It's always going to be like, hey, man, you got to pay up. What do you mean? I already did. All right, we, we need you to do something. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then you're fucked. Elon, would you do it? I, I I mean, honestly, probably yeah. Oh, you you would you would want to get paid out? Probably. Hmm. Every single day, I'm waking up wearing a uniform that's literally a target on my back. I'm the most hated person on every block. It's a the most selfish, selfless job ever. I'm not properly trained. Right. Nine times out of ten, people want to take my fucking head off just for walking in. Tra- uh, routine traffic stops can result in me being killed. Yeah, right. I'm taking a little off the top. Being a cop is probably one of the worst jobs. Yeah. So don't get yeah. it twisted. And I'm saying that as someone who isn't the biggest fan of the cops, but I would I would hate to have that job. Yeah. Yeah. I can see yeah. that. Just for the, for the reasons. For, and that's like like a small list. Of things that I just mentioned, hmm. you know what I mean? Like that's no, you're right. Because yeah. I mean, like I've I've sat in in a lot of like cop events, and they talk about a lot of like mental health kind of stuff, and it's very, very, very difficult. I mean, for think them. about it. You're you're basically you're taking a job where your you know part of the job description is to be paranoid twenty four seven. Right. Yeah. Even off duty. Yeah, you and always imag- have to see someone who suspected, you know. Yeah, and then on top of that, like, imagine making like detective. You're, I mean, right? You're literally just a dead man walking. Mm-hmm. That's just got to be horrible. It's it's hard, but it's 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 weird. I, I would say it's weird seeing them having a different personality when you like see them outside of the workforce. All right. Because again, when you see them, or when I see them at the events, they're like, "Hey, what's going on? What's going on, man?" Because they are just normal people. Yeah. But, but, you know, like, after a while, I would imagine them kind of being, like, always being, like, you know, watching who it is and who isn't. Right. I mean, that again, that's something that the job entails is you kind of have to be on your toes 24-7. Right. Which, like, I don't fucking care for cops, but I also don't envy them for what they do. You know what I mean? Like, that's... As much as every, everyone talks shit about cops, something breaks out. The first person they fucking, the first people they call are the cops. Cops, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it's the it's the small majority of good cops that I'm in favor of, right? But I mean, shit. Like again, uh, as a as a non police officer, if Brian was a cop and he was taking something off the top, I'd be like, hey, good for you, man. <laughs> you're actually doing something with. Well, I mean, it's not that. It's just I mean, shit. You know, you're waking up every day. Doing all hoping, this shit. Hoping to come home at night to see your family or whatever, maybe. Right. Yeah, fuck it. Put your kids through college. I don't give a fuck. As long as you ain't hurting anybody or doing some, you know, like, doing people dirty. You're just taking money. Fuck it. Take, take your, you know, take your scratch. Right. That's a fucking horrible job. Yeah, I mean, son. Nah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. What's worse? Policeman or fireman? Policeman. I don't know why anybody would hate a fireman. No idea. No, I'm not saying that they're being hated. I'm just saying for the work. Oh, work wise. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, man, that's a tough one. Because one, you get burning, and you know you're not gonna make it out. No, uh, I would say police officer has it worse. Yeah. Because uh, you actually have to go to like college for years and like take a bunch of years of training to be a fireman. Mm. Like, you, there's a lot of stuff, and then on top of that, most of those guys are EMTs. Yeah. So you, they're they're trained heavily. And correctly on how to do their job. Yeah. Like the fireman death rate is like small. I don't want to say non existent, but it's it's probably a lot less probably a lot lower than police officers. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. With police, you, you, they always see uh, violence almost well, all like the time. There was this one cop, he's a uh what do they call it? Seek sick, whatever. The guy who wears the Oh yeah. Yeah. Seek. Seek, yeah, he was uh his religion was Seek and he was the coolest dude ever, coolest cop ever for a routine traffic stop. Uh, dude jumps out from the other side of the car and just blows his head off Damn. for no reason. Dude was going like 55 and a 40 and he was like, Hey, he was just going to, he, he was just going to give him a warning. Like he had it in his hand. Right. Warning, slow down. And the dude was like, fuck that. <laughs> Killed the cop. 
And like everybody in our neighborhood had signs everywhere, like justice for insert yeah. name here. Damn. Just for a routine traffic stop. Coolest dude ever. Like he, him, apparently, during Harvey, he was one of the main guys who like got together with like the uh, Sikh community and they put, they like cooked food for everybody, uh, went like all over Texas to buy a shit ton of bottle, bottles of water and hand out and right. shit like that still happens. And that's just because he's a cop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck well, I mean, noise. some of them actually do it for good reasons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for the events that we do over there and, and at the hotel, there's a lot of cops who come and they they give out their time to do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? There's a very small majority yeah. in a, you know, in a giant field that are doing it for the right reasons. Right. And those are the cops that I'm like, yeah, those guys are fucking dope. But hard to spot them. You know right. what I'm saying? Hard to spot the good ones. Especially if they all act the same. Yeah. And they kind of have to. Yeah. And I don't blame them. Because we can be aggressive when we're all on drugs or just out of our minds. Or just think because they're taxpayers that they can talk to the motherfuckers however they want to talk to them. Yeah, which is crazy to me. <laughs> like, we're the fucking boss. Yeah. Yeah, you you don't, you don't you don't know that I pay your fucking salary. It's like, well, that guy's got a knight's dick. You may want to shut the fuck up, dog. Goddamn, Brian, you all right? Yeah. Puffing his puff puff. Hey, you know what I'm saying, brother? Getting his fix. Hell yeah. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got one on here twice. That nicotine. Sorry, I was trying to erase something. Trash. What's up? Slacking. I was just thinking. Just been playing Diablo 2 just constantly since it came out. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. What? How is it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Bring back a lot of memories. Is it, uh, are you playing through console or are you playing through? Console. Okay. Yeah, my computer's still broken. Hey. Oh, man. What happened to the computer? Oh, yeah. was it your graphics card, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I looked online to just get the exact same one I had. She was like 200 more than when I bought it years ago. Damn. Yeah. You, you need to get on Cyber Monday. It's coming up. They won't have any. No. Even the uh, the pre-builts. Yeah. Like I was going to get a pre-built from Best Buy, just like one with like decent RAM and stuff like that. And they're all like sold out. It it like you, it says you can't pick up in store or, or order online. Damn. Because the graphics card people are using them all up. Yep. It's crazy shit. Jesus Christ. That's why uh I I read somewhere, I think it was on IGN. Yeah. That uh we won't fully be able to buy PS5s and Xbox. What are they called? Series X. Series X, the new one, whatever the fuck it is. Uh like with ease until oh, Microsoft and Sony said they they won't see sales with ease until 2023. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Are we that short of like graphics cards yeah. and all that? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, like I didn't know it was this bad. Yeah, like people on on are on eBay, the people yeah. who bought the shit ton of those things, like they're selling them for like fucking ten grand on eBay and shit. Like it's yeah. it's Jesus insane. Christ. Yeah. What, when did this happen? I guess during the quarantine, like everything started getting real bad. Right. Because everyone yeah. wanted to play video games. Everyone's streaming. Right. You know so. that, and people are buying and uh, oh, they're the doing Bitcoin, his, right? Yeah, mining for. Oh right, crypto. yeah. But yeah, it's fucking Damn. bad. Damn. Yeah, Holy I, like, shit! Uh, I went. I actually went into Best Buy. Yeah. To buy, uh, just to look at the the pre built. I think it was like a little Alienware. Like it had like sixteen gigs of RAM, like an i five. You know, basic run of the mill type PC. Yeah. And the dude was like, "Yeah, uh, it, the thing said like eight ninety nine, but it was it, they were selling it." For four fifty, and I was like, "The fuck?" He goes, "Yeah, you just got to get a graphics card for it." I'm like, "So they were taking shit from the the prebuilts and like I guess distributing them online, right? Like that's what they're doing now." Damn. So they may have like ninety nine percent of a prebuilt, but they can't sell it because graphics card's missing, right? Because they're just digging into those, whether they be good or bad. Like I guess the one that they're really selling a lot of is the what's it called the uh, the the Asus. Mm. What are they called? The uh, Republic of the Gamer or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? ROG. 
Republic of Gamers, whatever. Either way, it's like a really popular graphics card model. Yeah. And like they're those are the ones that are people are wanting, I guess, because they come with like fans or some shit like that on them. I wanted to keep everything cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. something like that. But that's the one that that people are really wanting. It's probably for that reason, the mining. Right. So they can keep these shits going forever and ever. Cause, yeah, yeah, cause the one I, one I have in my computer, it has a built-in fan into yeah. it. So, mm. damn, I did not know that this was going on. Yeah, and then yeah. like Sony and um, Microsoft, they have like a warehouse somewhere that apparently Microsoft, my bad. Microsoft yeah. has a warehouse with like twenty-four-seven security where they have boxes like just a shit ton of Series Xs and like the the digital ones, whatever, all digital ones. Yeah. Where they're like, we're waiting to sell these because this is pretty much all we have left. Like, we can't really put any more into into production. Damn. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh. Wow. I, didn't, I, I, I would not imagine us, like, getting to a point where we're running well, out of technology. Well, well if you notice, um, next time you go to Walmart, look at the PS5 and the Series X section. They're no, they don't really need to restock those games right now. Yeah. Because nobody, no, they don't have the consoles. Right. Uh, who just got back into production, and uh, they were going to re-up, uh, basically kind of, like, update their model was the Switch, and they can't even do that anymore. Damn. Yeah. So they're like, well, we've got the parts for the old Switch. We're not just rebranded with like a better screen or whatever. Yeah. Because they can always do that. But they're like, but put it out and charge like an extra 50 bucks for it. Like, but we cannot update the the chips in these things. Damn. The graphics cards and stuff. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Wow. I did not know it was this bad. Fuck. Well, I mean. Yeah. So in a couple of years, maybe you'll be able to get a Series X or a PS5, whatever. But <laughs> right. Right now, it's on hold, buddy. Damn. I hope fucking... Uh, God of War comes out at PS4. I'm sure it will. Okay. Because, I mean, everybody still has a PS4, and yeah. they'd be stupid to not put it out on PS4. Right. Especially when that's when, when they can make sales on that. For real, because that can pay for, you know, more things. Yeah. Because you're already... you're revenue. Yeah, you're already invested in the PS4 as well. Right. So you've already got it, you know. But, yeah, that's 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 what's going on in the gaming world. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. that, that is wild. Huh. I remember, BJ, I think we were talking about it before we did a couch lock one time. No, no, before we did a STS-420 about how, like, there's, like, people, the people were, like, dying over these fucking graphics cards. Goddamn. Not, like, crazy numbers, not, like, thousands and shit, but, like, a few people here and there were, like, willing to go, like, you know, to war over these fucking graphics cards. It was crazy. I mean, computers are nice, but they're not fucking, like, everything. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Ryan, would you do that? Go to war for fucking graphics cards? <laughs> oh, he's just thinking about it. I mean, at this point, I would... No? <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, like, I would... I'll take whatever I can get so long as yeah. the... Uh, as long as the RAM is, like, fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to game on my PC. It'd be cool, but, like, I don't need to... Yeah. Like, it just give me, like, a basic graphics card the way the fucking monitor turns on. Like, that's all. I just need to see the screen. Like, something. I don't mind seeing it, like, fucking, like, PS, Four, PS1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just where it's all, like, all or, chop blocks and all that. Two, 240p, whatever yeah. the fuck it is. I'm cool. I don't give a fuck. I ain't bougie. Facts. But some of these people are. It's, and a lot of it is what BZ was talking about, mining, and a lot of it is streaming. Right, like yeah. pe- like people are like, I'm making money on this shit, bro. Like I need to, this is how I'm making my bread right now. Damn. Yep. Yeah, because I remember I had a I had a friend who was really particular about like how his bezels were on his monitor. Yeah. On his com- laptop and all that, and so he'd be like, "Oh, this is wrong. Nah, this is wrong." And he would always like change within every one. Because he would just be like, oh, this is off by like this. This is off by that. And I was like, how the fuck can you tell? All of them look all the fucking same to me. Yeah, blind motherfuckers can't tell the difference. You ain't lying. I know my boy Caden. I, I told you the guy who was like a professional Counter-Strike pl- player or whatever. Yeah. He got sponsored by like, was it Razor Controllers, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, He would do that shit. Like, uh, even like on at his desk, his work desktop, 
like his monitor, he would go in and like he would have his uh, what is it, the CPU little, you know, like little widget, whatever. Yeah. And then the FPS on the you know, the top left corner, whatever. And he would always make sure it was at a set FPS. And I'm like, I don't. I'll be honest, I can't see the difference though. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I'm I, I'm just too blind. Like, I don't I don't know. I don't care enough. Like, I don't care. And and also, I'm not a competitive gamer. Right. So it just does nothing for me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like I'm not making money playing games. If I was, maybe I'd be throwing a bitch fit over it. But yeah. But even then, like, I don't really see, like, a real big issue from, like, slightly to even less slightly, you know? If you watch, like, comparison tests, there's there's a difference, like, in speed, especially for, like, uh, like online competitive games, yeah. something like a Counter-Strike. It does give you a slight edge, but it's not, like, a crazy amount where people are going to, people should be spending X amount of do- thousands of dollars on a graphics card right. for it. No. I don't know. I mean, it's... To each their own. Right. Hmm. I just need to be able to hook that all up to a TV and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. If it works, it works. Facts. I'm good on that shit. All right, so Navarre's not coming. You want to hear about this? Yeah, let's do Andrew it. Andrew Huberman, dude? Yeah. All right, so Andrew Huberman, neuroscientist, semi-skater, whatever. Anyway, he uh started talking about random things and the host was mentioning how he's a real skinny dude and he wants to gain weight. And he's like, actually, you're perfect the way you are. He goes, the stature that you're at is the stature you always want to be at. And he was like, what are you talking about? He goes, whenever you see guys, like, let's say me, put extra weight on or muscle or anything like that. He goes, every time you bench press something, you're taking minutes of your life off. He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, whenever you add excess weight or anything to your body, you're literally cutting your life down shorter by the workout. Because your stature is the stature that you were born with. That's the stature you need to keep. By adding extra weight or taking too much away, it can affect that. He's like, that's why you see guys who are seven foot two, seven foot three. They don't make it to like sixty years old. You know, they die fairly young, right? Because of that excess weight. Like they, taller guys, like they just tend to gain weight with ease. They can eat like a piece of bread and they'll gain like a pound. So it's just like, so they have to constantly work out. That's why working out is so important. It's crazy. So wait, I'm I'm so confused. So if I, let's say my stature is more on the skinny side. And I, if I gain weight, the more I gain weight, the less of a life I'll have. Yeah, it'll cut you, it cuts it down. Okay. And, and if you're skinny, like say like I'm a twig and I get down to like 80 pounds, that's even worse. Like, you don't ever want to be below. That's why that BMI thing, the body mass index, whatever, mm. that's why that thing exists. Because you want to stay within your particular, like, if I, I'm five, six, five, seven, 120 pounds, I need to be around, I actually need to be around 130. Mm. And that's that's a healthy weight for me. So how do you know when you're, like, in a good place? You can, there's certain scales that'll tell you your BMI. Okay. And, like, for, for like, whenever I, last time I went, she or was like. Or good for your stature, I guess. Yeah, so basically you t- you can actually look online. Just look on your phone and type in your height, weight, and all that stuff, and it'll tell you, it'll say, like, you know, a uh, perfect BMI, or it'll say, like, obese, uh, uh, slightly obese, morbidly obese, or, like, underweight, sickly, anorexic. Like, it'll give you, like, detail for detail yeah, on how to do I, this. I think I still am, like, obese or morb- morbid and obese, one of those two. Don't feel bad. Joe Rogan's morbidly obese. Hey. He's five eight, five nine, and he's a two ten. He's technically morbidly obese, right? Because it's all muscle, though, and that's what they were like. But what about if it's muscle? He goes, that's, that, that's actually worse for you, really, because it's harder to get rid of muscle. Mm. It's easier to get rid of fat. So you 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 don't want to be like you want to be toned, but you don't want to be like those bodybuilding guys, right. like you know, deadlift a thousand pounds and shit. He goes, those those guys are gonna be dead mid fifties. Word, yeah. Holy shit. So working out is beneficial, but you don't want to go fucking crazy with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you're saying, like toned, ripped, all that, that's cool. But if you start like me, if I gain if I get up to like two fifteen all muscle, it's too much on your heart. Mm. Yeah. Dude, that's interesting. I did not know that. Right. Here's for, here's another little fun fact. This uh skate photographer named Mike Blayback, he was like sixty pounds overweight. Huh. And the dude was like you know, I'm constantly running around doing all this stuff. Uh, I need some, like, workout tips. Is there anything I can do? He goes, yeah, absolutely. I, I can get you to drop 50, 60 pounds in a year without lifting any weights. He's like, how's that? 
And he goes, here's a little secret. <sighs> Breathing exercises. The most beneficial type of workout you can do. And it burns fat like crazy. Doing certain type of breathing exercises is equivalent to taking five or six teaspoons of was it apple cider vinegar or whatever. Yeah. How it burns fat. Certain breathing exercises can literally do that. And you don't get lightheaded. Huh. Yeah. I did not even know that. Yeah. And he said that's what he, he uh, promotes more than like crazy weightlifting and stuff like that. Yeah. You, you do need to lift weights to keep your bone density up. Yeah. But don't like go fucking like that's Ham what, on it. that's why a lot of people say like was it lower weight more reps whatever yeah for that reason alone because mm. yeah because w- what I usually do is just w- walk or run usually I do like a walk but I do like four laps yeah then and that, and that works now here's the uh here's the the last little tidbit it's my favorite one okay so they start asking about like brain functionality. And like he's like, you know, I've always heard that you should only use ten percent of your that you only use ten percent of your brain. And the guy goes, Absolutely. And that's all you want to, to use. He was like, Really? He goes, Yeah, so I'm just gonna use me me using yeah. me learning a kickflip as an example. That's okay. a skateboard trick for, for those of you who don't know. When I'm doing a kickflip, when you're going into it, your brain actually doesn't do as much as you think it does, by the way. Your nervous system is everything. Mm. Your nervous system is what you're using ten percent of. Your brain is kind of just the gears. It's it's controlling everything, but your nervous system is what does everything for you. So he says you don't want to use 10% of your nervous system. or I mean, you only want to use 10% of your nervous system or your brain for this reason alone. Let's say I go to learn this kickflip or the skateboard trick, whatever it is. When I'm starting off doing it, I'm using 35% of my focus region to do it, and that's too much. So basically, I'm, I can't get it. I can't figure it out, blah, blah, blah. I go to, I go to sleep. My brain resets, and now what it's done is it's trimmed out 10% of the 35. So now I'm down 25%. So now it's getting easier for me to do it, and I'm starting to learn it. I go to sleep. My brain resets, erases another 10%. So now I'm down to 15%. Now I'm getting it. I'm landing, but it's not as good as it wants to be. Same thing. Go to sleep the next day. I've got it down because my brain has narrowed it down to 10%. That's all I should be using to focus on that trick I was learning. Mm. Yeah. But why, why, if we use more of it? Oh, uh, and <laughs> there's a, this, it's crazy. You want to know why? Why? There's a, there's a name for that. It's called epileptic seizures. If you use more than 20%, you know, like what happens whenever you have those seizures is your brain opens up 100% and it's a sensory overload on your brain and your body and you just, your body shuts down on you. Oh, so shit. It, that's all, that's all epileptic seizures are, is that your brain opening up 100% for a few seconds or a minute or whatever, and then your body trying to readjust itself. That's an epileptic seizure. Oh, shit. Yeah. I think it just blew my mind. Crazy, huh? I think I'm about to have an ep- epileptic <laughs> seizure. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get my se- seizure on real quick. <laughs> but that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. Huh. So what happens if we use, I guess, 50% then? You, you generally don't. Okay. Like most most geniuses who are say they have an IQ of like one seventy, one eighty, yeah. something like that. That's why they're generally autistic and savants. Because they're only the biggest part of their brain that's being used is the focus part of their brain. Mm. So everything else is kind of like like the lights are dimmer in that section of the brain. Right. So that's why when like you see a savant, they're like like well, what's three million times blah 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 divided by blah blah, blah you right. know whatever. They see the answer. They're just like oh yeah, it's that. Because that's all they can focus on is that. Mm. But they're also, like, socially awkward. Right. But, you know, it's a give and take thing. Right. It's crazy, dude. The brain is, the brain and, well, the nervous system is a weird thing. Oh. I'm telling you. you, Yeah, I'm probably going to listen to this. Yeah, and then he starts talking about, like, deja vu and, like, how, he's like, you ever feel like, he's like, what what is that about? And basically the way he said it was, like, they've done studies that show that, like, say I'm learning, I'm I'm still learning that skateboard trick. And I take a 10 second break and don't think about it. My brain is already, it, it makes it, you learn faster that way. So, you know how back in the day they would give you those little fucking times table sheets, whatever. Those like five times six, three, whatever. And you yeah. get as many done as you can. Yeah. The people who can do that generally fail in another subject. So like mm-hmm. if they're really good at math, they suck at English. If they're really good at reading and writing. They're probably not that great at math. 
and if they're if they're good at all of it there's there's generally some form of dys- of dyslexia in there mm. yeah oh, it's weird shit. right yeah it's like what the fuck because you want to be average on both of them yeah you want to be uh, yeah at very minimum average but what it is when they're really good at it is that they see things differently that's why people like einstein they would figure math out in an abstract way as opposed to just plain black and white just you know linear right it was all fucked up if you look at their notes they're all over the place but someone like who's just, who just focuses on math they have very organized in the way they do things but mm. you know at the same time they said einstein couldn't tie a shoe i don't know how real that is but right you know he was very weak in other subjects interesting yeah I'm a, I'm gonna listen to I'm this. I'm telling podcast. you, it's really yeah. good. Yeah, I, I, I want to learn more about this dude. This he, is really yeah, really interesting. He's really, this opens up my mind to a lot of things to us about us. You know, yeah. That I'll tell you, like he's talking. He's talked about uh oh one of my favorite things, and this really hit home with me about anxiety. Okay. He compared us to camera lenses. He's like, so think of it as this. Let's say whenever your fo- your camera is focusing on something, yeah, but it's all blurry. And like out of focus and shit, because yeah. your frame rate is too high, right? Well, that's what happens to us as well. Our that's why our pupils dilate, go in and out, in and out, right? So, have you ever been in a, in a line where you're in a hurry and someone in front of you is returning something and it feels like they're taking forever? That's just your frame rate, your quote unquote frame rate too high. You've got your sensory overload, so pretty much like your eyes are fucking huge, like you're on a drug, but it's not. So you feel like you're, you know, your adrenaline's rushing, your anxiety's to the roof. And then the same thing, like whenever your frame rate's too low, depression. Mm. So everything around you is coming at you at a million miles an hour, but right. you just don't know how to handle it. Huh. That's a good comparison. Yeah. Huh. Holy shit. Yeah. Really yeah. dope, man. Yeah. I tell you, dude, go listen to it. The okay. link's in the description, people. Right. Like, I, this is just like the tip of the iceberg with this guy. Right. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to start. Following and and he has his own podcast as well, so you should definitely check that out. Yeah, I'm a sock this guy. His name is Andrew Andrew Huberman. Really fucking bright guy. Is he single? <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, he can fix me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just the way he was going off on everything, I was like, holy right. shit, this guy's fucking dope. Right. Hell yeah. So yeah, people. Links in the description. I highly recommend everyone who listens to this. Yeah, it's really to interesting. Listen to that. Uh, if you're into it, if you're not, then sorry. I mean, I, I wasn't at first until right. I was like, "What the? F- oh shit!" He just keeps dropping gems Bombs, again. Yeah. It's a skateboarding skateboarding podcast, so every now and then he'll say something that you may not understand. But for the most part, they they pretty they get off that pretty fast, right? And onto the neuroscience. Hmm. So yeah, definitely go check that shit out. It's crazy. Hell yeah! Let me get that from you. All right, hoes, you already do these doper notes or no? Yeah. Sure. Oh, shit. Be easy. Oski skeet. The way he said it, this is what I came up with. This is the, this is what I heard in my head. So, all right, here it goes. You want to hear it or no? Sure. The drop? You may want to put your headphones on, dickhead. I mean, this is you. All right, here's the drop, people. Whenever you hear this, we're doing doper notes. Dope or no. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that he did that last week. <laughs> and, I, and I put that in that episode as well. I was like, fuck it. There it is. Hell yeah. <laughs> the doper note drop. There you that go. That weird ass drop. wizard sounding shit. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. <laughs> no. <laughs> so shout out to Be Easy. Hell yeah. I'm going to start taking more, our, more of our clips and making more drops. So that way it's our shit. Kind of like what uh, Tom does, but he does he doesn't do theirs. He just gets it from random shit. That no, they yeah, have. but it'll be yeah. our shit. Like when we say dumb, ignorant ass shit, <laughs> I'll start making a soundboard. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, number num numero uno, wearing shoes with no socks. Nope, nope. No, I'm too sweaty. Yeah, dude, that's so weird when people you see people wearing like J's or something, right? With no socks, no socks. Ugh. Like, way to fuck those shoes up. And then it smells even worse. Yeah. Oof. That's the... I've had people take their shoes off, they, and the shoes are just, like, basically like stink bombs. Eesh. Like, you nasty Not only that, but it's all sticky inside yeah. there, too. And you're just like, ugh, goddamn. 
Just wear some socks, motherfucker. It ain't For hard. Real? I know a lot of people don't like wearing them, but when you're wearing shoes, your socks. wear some motherfucking socks. Yeah. You Does stank, it hurt? You stank, bitch. Hey. All right, number two. Massage chairs. Nope. Dope. If it's a good one. Yeah, if it's a good one, dope. But if they're not, then no. I guess for me, because of the scoliosis, none of them really work. Right. It kind of yeah. actually hurt a little more. Yeah, it, it's hard finding one that actually, like, helps instead of just hurts. Because I've sat in the ones that have, like, the little moving balls or whatever in the yeah. back. Yeah. That shit hurts. But if it's just, like, a vibrating one. Yeah. it's yeah, a, it, That, that kind of works, but. Yeah, if you get one that just kind of, like, goes up and down and vibrates. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, that's perfect. But, but those, like, shiatsu. Yeah, I've had one that's, like, uh-huh. like the balls are all, like, doing, like, this shit. And I'm like, oh, my God, yeah, this it just is painful. Hurts. It doesn't really do anything. Like, giant yeah. ball bearings that are just, like, grinding my spine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I would rather just go in a hot tub. Yeah. Yeah, that helps, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we ought to do one of these days? We ought to set up a spa day. Ooh, I'm down. And they're not, they're not, they're not that expensive. They're not? No, oh, hell okay. no. I mean, if you get if you go to the ones in Beverly Hills, yeah, you're gonna spend some big money. But I mean, like generally, like fifty, sixty bucks a person or something like that. So happy endings. We'll talk about that after. <laughs> <laughs> and if that is the case, allegedly, we'll have, if that is the case, we'll let Brian test it out. <laughs> Fuck around, catch some fat ass old Asian lady. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, I like rice. <laughs> it's like a grain of rice. I like my man. How I like my rice white. <laughs> damn it all right well i have one on here twice so i'm gonna, I'm gonna need y'all to come through with the dope or nope for, the, for number nine but here we go okay store brand slash generic cereal dope well which one's the dope yeah hmm? it says store brand versus no store brand slash generic you know just like the just like generic oh cereal. store brand oh, yeah. not name yeah, brand dope. yeah, yeah. Yeah, fucking dope. Yeah, I feel like they're more sugarier than the fucking that's, that's other ones true. too. I just feel like they're better. Yeah, because I know I got one uh, store brand. It was like a s'more cereal. Well, but basically it was just like three cereals in one. So it was like the knockoff uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, with some knockoff cocoa puffs with like marshmallows in it. Oh shit! Yeah. Just Damn. all those Oh, yeah, together. you were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. shit was fucking dope. Like a party mix. Yeah. Hey. And plus, I get, like, fruity, or when I did get cereal, I would get fruity pebbles. Mm. Mm. Hell, yeah. But now, you know, we got to get that honey bunch of, honey honey bunch bunch of, of oats. oats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that shit's That's just good, good though. Yeah, I know. Pretty it's good. just that I really miss fruity pebbles. I don't blame you. Fruity pebbles are the shit. Damn, Damn I'll have to go get me some tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll eat some. You can live vicariously through me. I'm trying okay. to gain weight. But do me oh. a favor, eat a salad for me. I'll live yeah. vicariously oh. through you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's you know because whenever I stop by Bucky's, they got those uh uh Rice Krispies treats. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. they yeah. got them made out of like the fruity pebbles. Yeah. So I know I've tried the Captain the Captain Crunch one. That was pretty good. Ooh. Oh yeah. Hmm. The cereal bars, whatever they're called. Yeah. I wonder why Captain Crunch fell through. Like, it's not as popular how it was back in it's the day. It's still big. It's just, because, like, every, there's a cereal for everything now. Like, right. there's yeah. so many damn, you know, like. F- yeah, no, but, like, the advertising as big as, like, you know, like. Oh, well, I mean, you never see a fucking, uh, you never see a commercial for a Ferrari. Yeah. They don't, they don't need to. You know what I mean? They're, they're set in stone. Okay. Like, yeah. whenever you start seeing, like, like, there are certain cereals that are good, but they still need advertising. Like, as, as. I mean, this may as hard as it may be to believe. Like Reese's Puffs, they always have advertisement out. Yeah, and I don't know why. I'm like, those are good, but I mean, yeah, because it's Reese's like, Puff, um, Frosted Flakes. Because I always see those all the time. Yeah, Lucky Charms, the the Bunny one, uh, fr- uh, uh tricks, tricks, um, and Kicks too, kind of. Yeah, Cookie Crisp and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. those are pretty much it. Everything else is kind of just like, oh, and Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Yeah, true. But I mean, like, like Captain. Oh, and Rice Krispies. What's well, that one I can understand. Uh, but was that you said they have a what was it uh the first one? Uh, Fruity Pebbles and shit like no fr- Frosted Flakes. Frosted, Frosted Flakes. Flakes and uh, 
Captain Crunch, those are like old cereals. Yeah. Yeah. You figure Frosted Flakes got it on lock now, but I guess it's just because they have all the kids and the commercials and stuff. Yeah. Well, I think it's more of now a uh, sports. Oh, yeah. Um, cereal now. There are cereals that do need some motherfucking advertisement of like Wheaties. Who the fuck eats Wheaties? I like I do. the Frosted Wheaties. Yeah, I like the Frosted Wheaties. But I really can't good. eat just regular Wheaties. No, that is too much fiber for me. I gotta take a shit. Hell, this is doing his job. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, I took out like the the generic, the big body bag, the yeah. motherfucker looked like a body bag, into my room, and I was eating them shits, not knowing that, bruh. <laughs> I did the same thing. I remember I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I didn't have enough money for to get food, so I ate smashed cereal. on a shit ton of them. Yeah, yeah, bruh. Ooh, my stomach was hurting. That'll 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 clean you out for damn sure, bro. For real. Mm. Shitting for days. 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 But at least your shit's a little healthy. Yeah. All right, host. One, two, three. Four. Number four. Cane sugar sodas. Dope. I say nope. You don't like them? H E B, bro. No. Not a fan. Some of them can be all right. But a lot of them usually just end up being way too sweet. Exactly. I like them. I, I think they're pretty good. I mean, good. Here, there's like, I don't, I like, I don't like the Dr. Like Pepper glass ones. Glass bottle Coke. Yes. Yeah. Those are good. But like the fucking hipster sodas and stuff like that. I don't even like the, the, the glass bottle Mountain Dews. I think that's too much. Yeah. Mountain Dew can be very. Yeah. Sweet. Mountain Dew is a little too much for me. But I mean, like, I like the. I guess the strawberry one that they have over there, H E B. Dr. Pepper one's all right. The cocoa one's pretty good. The H E B brand. Because they're made out of uh sugar cane. Yeah. But then again, I kinda grew up with sugar canes because I th- think my dad's ranch, they grow sugar canes. Yeah. And then in Christmas we do like a fruit punch. Mm-hmm. So we make them out of like sugar canes, different other fruits. And we boil it into like a big old pot. It's like a Christmas tradition thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I know I used to get, you know, some of those hipster sodas whenever I was up in Washington. Because you get like a like a six pack of them for, uh, what was it? Like five. Yeah, it was like five dollars. Yeah. Like they were like a dollar each unless you got six, then it was... Five dollars, right? You know, one for free, basically. And I do that, you know, every once in a while. But like, I would only pick like the same like two sodas, right? So your favorite ones, yeah. But even then, like, they were still just way too goddamn sweet. You're talking about the build your owns at HB or whatever. Yeah. The only the only thing I was building my own. Damn self was a uh, uh, beers. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, mine. those uh, micro brews. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever own a micro brew, or would you ever want to own? Me and Tucker were starting one. Yeah, we uh. the The problem is, is that like, like I said before, we you know we thought we were like fancy fucking dudes drinking IPAs and crap beers, and we were like, no man, we're fucking trash. We like Miller High Life. Like this shit just ain't good, <laughs> right? Like these these craft beers and like the shit just ain't good. But would you would you want to start one? Yeah, I mean, if we like, if I wasn't a fucking booze bag, yeah, you know, if I could drink and I could like make a pro, like a flavor profile that was decent, yeah, I would, yeah. Hmm. But knowing what I know now, right, yeah. I would never, I wouldn't want to push that on someone. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I know there are people who can drink. I just don't want to contribute to those who can't. No, I get you know it. what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, that's my thing. Hmm. Okay. I actually been thinking about trying to link up with this this pastor I met over Reddit to start a uh, an AA thing. Oh shit! Yeah. Nice. Are you gonna have him on for? Uh, I don't know. I have diaries of addiction. I I still haven't even done that. I Man, I got to get my mental health in order before I can start trying to help others. Right. You know what I'm saying? That that's real. That's the whole reason. I yeah, I'm done that. Yeah. yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I don't want to be out there trying to help people when you can't help yeah, yourself. Like, yeah, yeah. No, I, get I mean, it. so I mean, I'm working on myself, and then once I can get, you know, better with that, then I feel more comfortable doing it. Yeah, no, I got you. 
It's like fucking that. That would be like an alcoholic pastor preaching to the choir. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that shit ain't cool. <laughs> I'm fucked up right now, but <laughs> the Lord is talking to me. Let Leviticus starts not. <laughs> <laughs> She all dressed and shit. Right. I'm fucked up. I'm like, I'm like, just some random ass passage, and then be like, Stone Cold, kiss my ass, John three sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> be like, what the hell? Goddamn. <laughs> Stone Cold, kiss my ass, John, John three sixteen. <laughs> Whatever the hell he said. Right, this is a random one. I just saw this because I passed by one the other day. I was like, yeah, I'll add it on. Statues. I'm like in between. Depends on what the statue is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm in between. Like, Yeah. Like if it's like historic? Eh, okay. Yeah. Mm, but I, I, yeah. I like more of the Greek ones. Art, artistic yeah, shit. The, yeah. 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 Instead, of, instead of just like a monument, something like, like I like the artistic shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to like be dope. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't mind the historic ones, but it, the history that's behind some of those, though, is the yeah, problem. Right. Yeah, and you know, and however you feel about that, you know, I'd rather have like a hologram if they're that important. To be honest, easier, yeah. easier to to manage. You know, yeah. Turn that hole on and off. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> like, right. we don't like this. All right, click off. There you go. <laughs> this shit problem fixed. I don't have to destroy a whole fucking town just to take yeah. it down. I gotta fucking split some uh, a town politically right. over this bullshit. All right, just turn that hole off. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, Let me just it. get a new guy. Dude, there yeah, you go. Right, don't worry about guys. Doing? Next week we'll have one of Johnny Bravo. <laughs> and who doesn't love Johnny Bravo? <laughs> Hell yeah. Be yeah. Some, if it's some. artistic, yeah, dope. But if it's yeah. historic, eh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I can give or take. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I can, you know. Whatever, yeah. I just I I passed by one. It's kind of like an artsy fartsy one. I was like, huh. Yeah. Whatever. There's one over there in Austin that's pretty cool. It's like a whole like garden full of statues. It's pretty cool. You know, I want to go to. There's this place called, and this does not sound like this is completely out of my character. But there's this place in Oregon mm-hmm. called uh, I think it's called like Rose Oregon or something like that. Hey, if we are going to go Oregon, are we going to do drugs since it's legal? Well, we might as well. <laughs> Just never come back. <laughs> right? Like the homeless people in Vegas who lost it all. Now <laughs> they ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> Fuck it. Anyways. I'm not going to Oregon. <laughs> but, but uh, I mean, there's a there's a town called like Rose or Rosebud, Oregon or something like that. Yeah. And like they have like these crazy looking roses that all, they come in like all different colors. Oh shit. Yeah. It's like really fucking. Is unique. it bricked or is it actually like. No, they're, they're like actual plants. Oh. They, they, they're just in that soil that they grow like orange roses, like purple lime green like they're just natural naturally grown like that right oh, i just want i just cool. want to see that for the you know like the botany nerd in me right like, i think that's dope because i remember seeing like this one documentary i think they're talking about i think in switzerland it's somewhere over there in europe holland switzerland kind of the netherlands kind of place and they farm like plants but it's for like you know like decorations yeah and all that different stuff they do different colors it's really cool because they have like one side is like yellow and one side is like purple and one side is orange and all these different colors but if you see them out like above with a drone it looks super cool it's super dope dope it's on it's on disney disney plus if you oh want. oh one of those uh documentary yeah. things i may check that one out you know i think uh a cool um dope and dope Documentaries. There you go. I had that one. Yeah. Another one could be mu- museums. We can just do that one. Shit, uh, that one as well. Yeah. Museums. Uh, I think it's dope. It just depends. It has to be big. I'm not really worried about the size. It's generally what's in it. Like, like, yeah. I've, I've been to like a science museum and that was dope. But then, like, there's certain museums that like. Because not everything is going to catch my interest the same way it's not going to catch yours or bees, you know, right. like, so, like, I'm on the fence with them. Like, they're they're dope, but I'd say mostly dope. If you Because you can always pick and choose which one you want to go to. Yeah. You know? What about you, Brian? Have you been to a museum? Or are they too mainstream for you? Too mainstream. I don't remember, probably. Goddamn. It's been forever. Probably not since I was in school. So, 
uh yeah like Zeke said depends on what's in them but yeah yeah dope yeah because i mean you like the science one was fucking dope like we got to get a little lab coats and like right like look at like dna samples that shit was fly i love history museums because you get to see yeah. all the different stuff that you know happened throughout the past Ooh, bro if you're gonna spend any money you need to get audible and i'll send you some history books mm. been listening to a few they're fucking is it his story yes all about men, fuck women. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, there's just a bunch of different ones. Okay, and uh, I'll, if you do get it, it's like eight bucks a month. And remember how it used to be? You need to like all different apps and shit to fucking download and do all this. Now it's like Netflix. Pay eight bucks a month, and you get to listen to any book you want, whenever you want. Oh, so it's a streaming. It's book. a streaming thing now. Finally, yeah, that's what we've been wanting. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I have to buy this just to keep my like catalog. I wanted to buy this so I can stream fucking books. Yeah. It's right, it's cool. it's dumb. Yeah, but they changed the the platform now. It's really dope. Thank God. Yeah. Okay, my friends. Number seven, gender reveals. Say nope. No. Nah. No. Nah. I mean, I know that if you all have a kid, Sarah might wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, and she's gonna know I think it's fucking retarded. I think it's dumb. I'd just be like, we're having a boy or I would rather keep it a surprise. I would want to, but nah. then when it comes no. to the clothes, the clothes yeah, that's yeah, the that's yeah. gonna be the hard you part. You gotta start preparing right. for clothes, and like, you can only t- you can only tolerate so much fucking yellow clothing. Yeah, like yeah. that neutral shit. I hate that. But if if I could, if I was in the back of the day, I wouldn't mind it. You know you the know, problem. Like, oh, yeah. Here's the problem. One of the things with the gender reveals is that they always wait till like they're like eight months, right? And they don't give anyone real time to get shit in order. You know what I mean? Like, whenever you find out, well, I don't know what is like three or four months or no, maybe not that soon. I don't know his exact, you know, time period. Maybe maybe know. six. I don't fucking know. Whenever you find out, that's when you should let people know. Right. Give them time to get the clothes, whatever, and keep receipts because it could be a fucking boy or a girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, one of the one of the girls, their little sister Alicia, they were like, "Oh yeah, you're having a boy." Came out with a fucking twat. So those, hey. they're like, "Oh shit, it's a girl." So all, the, so all those blue clothes I got, they didn't keep the receipts. Right. And, you know, there's that. I just think they're dumb. I think they're dumb, but I, I see the premise for it. You get more clothes, supplies, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So That's obviously for, like, the lady. Right. But for men, it's just ass. For me, the way, I, the way I'm going to want to do it is like, hey, you ain't got to tell her, but tell me. The way I know what to tell people to get. Right. And then we can do this for her, you know? You know what they do now is that they do like a kind of like a wish list kind of thing. You know how for marriages you kind of do like the a registration wish- thing? Registration, yeah, there yeah. you go. You do a registration on all these like little places like Walmart, Target, mm-hmm. all that different stuff. And so people can actually get you what you want or what you need. Yeah, we did that and Sarah fucked up. Why? She ain't get no pillows, no comforters, no towels, no nothing. I'm like, all right, cool. She got, yeah, she, she got me a barbecue uh, pit. No, no, no! Just the just the utensils. The fuck! I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't have a fucking pit, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> did you put that on the thing? She's like, no. No. Then how the fuck am I supposed? Right, cool. To so use I get this? to use these to make pancakes. Yeah. Dope. Wow. Damn, Sarah, getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so the last three are food related. All right, let's do it. All right, funnel cakes. Dope. Yeah, I'll say dope. Well, I'll, eh. I'll say dope ish. I, I think On a season. Yeah, I yeah. think they're good. But like, I've only ever really eaten them at like carnivals and fairs yeah. and shit. Like, that's like if I, if you just, you're a, I think you're a psychopath if you just eat a funnel cake on like a Thursday in July. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not I at ate a one fair. yesterday. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> but at a carnival. Okay. Yeah. That would, <laughs> at a fair. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. And it just always seemed, like like we talked about with the I think it was like a, a month or, or maybe a few months back, the Christmas popcorn, that shit tastes way better during Christmas for yeah. me. Like, yeah, you know it's like a like, you know it's like a traditional thing. Yeah, I don't mind funnel cakes. I just like if I'm not I don't want to eat one like you know on a fucking random Monday in you know October or something like that. Right. That's just weird. I don't know, but I also have a lot of dumb rules in my head. So yeah, you know. I, I mean, everybody. don't we all? Yeah, I'll say everybody does. All right, number nine. Dry, wait. Drag racing? Dry fruit. Dry fruit? Yeah. I don't care. 
I never really liked it. This is a textural thing for me. Word? Yeah. Like, I like mangoes and apples and all that shit, but if they're, like, yeah. dehydrated, I don't know. Yeah. kind of It kind of takes away the actual flavor of it for me. And bananas are the fucking worst. I don't care what anyone says. That's how we use the banana bread. Really? Yeah. The bana- y'all use the banana chips, whatever they are? Oh, no, no. No, we, we let the banana kind of dry out. No, no, no. I was talking about, like, dehydrated, oh. like, dehydrated yeah, fruit. You, yeah. You. Basically, like, uh, beef jerky fruit, pretty right. much. Yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, not really. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of it. It's a good yeah. snack. See, I I mean, I've only really had it like in the cereal, you know, mm-hmm. like the cereal with the dried strawberries, dried right. bananas. Right. So in the cereal, I don't mind it. It's usually complemented by something else. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But as just like a standalone snack, no. Because I've had like the dehydrated like apples and stuff. Yeah. It's- and I was like, it just tastes weird. And it's dry and... Like I said, for me, like, yeah. I, I don't think the apples and stuff like that taste horrible. It's a textural thing for me. Like, I just right. don't... I don't want my fruit to be chippy. I didn't like the taste. It's, for me, it's like, say I give you a piece of cake, but it's it tastes like beef jerky. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a textural thing. You're like, this isn't supposed to... Like, taste like this. Like, I'm yeah. so used to fruit... Being wet. Look, looking like fruit and... You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Tasting so, like fruit. Yeah, tasting like fruit. But when Being it's kind of like... Yeah, like when it's all dried up and shit, you're like... The fuck? Yeah, like this is yeah. a little. It's, a little it's like eating unsalted yeah. uh, nuts. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Which I'm used to now. So yeah, Sarah does that too. She gets the the raw nuts, whatever it is. Yeah, the unsalted ones. Yeah, the unsalted ones. And I went to grab a handful and I shut them in my mouth. I was like, "The fuck? The is fuck? Going- I'm it- trying to raise my blood pressure. Where's this goddamn salt?" In? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it takes a little bit to get used to, but after a while, you're like, "Oh, okay." It's a good snack. Oh yeah, definitely healthy but right. yeah all right this one i don't know I, I gotta i gotta beef with this last one so i'm gonna go ahead and say nope right off bad but restaurants where you cook your own food no nope. thank you like, if, I, if i'm gonna cook my own food i'm gonna do it at the fucking house yeah for real we're I'm talking, not paying extra money just to do it at your place yes Facts. Uh, sarah was like it's all about the experience. I'm like, what am I going to experience? The shitty food I'm going to make? Yeah. That's the fucking reason I'm here, so it's done right. <laughs> Why do you think we go out? Yeah. I don't know how to fucking cook. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to cook. Like, don't get me wrong. Korean barbecue is dope if it's fucking cooked. Right. Like, I want someone else to do it for me. I hate that shit. Another thing I hate, ooh, this pisses me the fuck off so goddamn much. When I go to Subway and they make my sandwich and they ask me if I want a drink and they just hand me the cup. Word? Yes. I can't tell you how fucking high my blood pressure gets when what? they're when they're like I'm like, yeah, let me let me get a, a medium surprise. Like, oh it's over there. I'm like, oh well why don't you fucking go get it? Are you out of your fucking mind? I'm sorry I didn't pay you know, I, I'm paying for this shit. You're gonna right. do it for me. That's the way this works. That's the way this transaction works. Mm-hmm. No, eh, fuck but that. But how do you do it for I, me, McDonald's? Huh? How do you do it for McDonald's? I always go to the drive thru. My shit's uh, handed to me, son. Mm. See, I prefer getting my own beverage. Yeah, because I could fill it all the way to the top. Yeah, and because I don't overload it on ice. Right. For at the when they do it, they're going to fill it all the way up with ice. So realistically, you're only getting like half the cup. Or you could just say, "Hey, low ice." Will they though? Yeah. They do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I do it. It's not a a big deal for me. For me, it is. Right. I don't. I. You like. being handed to well i mean it's not that it's, i'm paying for the shit right you know what i'm saying if they were paying me i'd be like hey i got you don't worry about it i'll go get your drink isn't that what they're supposed to do at restaurants and shit but don't you go and go to the convenience store and get a drink yeah the convenience store where someone's behind the counter if yeah. i'm at a restaurant and someone's like here you go go get your own shit well you can eat my ass you go get my shit <laughs> <laughs> it's your fucking job what about buffets? I don't do buffets like that. Word? Mm. You that bougie? The food's, too, the food's too greasy. Okay. That Golden Corral, I always leave there feeling like shit. Mm. I mean, that Golden Corral forever. I got no beef with it. It's just... Yeah, no, I get it. It's just the food and, you know... For stuff like that, but there's exceptions, obviously. But, I mean, if I go to a restaurant... Like, my thing is this, like, especially with, like... Let's just keep... I'm gonna keep using Korean barbecue. When I go there, like... I, it just makes me mad but happy that someone has a job 
where their job is to drop off raw meat and fuck off. <laughs> Why don't you get that job? Because I get fired. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I hate that shit. Hmm. And another thing I don't like, if I'm being honest, is, is fucking the hibachi joints where they fucking throw food in your mouth. Yeah. That's, an, that's annoying. I don't mind it. It's like, like I, yeah, catch it. It's like, I, I'll pay extra for you to not do that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> where do I leave this 20 spot? I don't want you to be fucking doing, you know, your goddamn sick freedom roy shit while you're cooking my food. Man, just make my goddamn food. I'm hungry. <laughs> I ain't come here for a show. Damn. Oh, when they're fucking pouring the, 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 whatever that alcohol is, they're pouring in people's mouths and shit. Right. Like, you know, I'm a grown man. Just give me some fucking, give me a bottle of Jack. And I'll show you, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Goddamn. I did not know this was about you. I don't like that shit. Huh. So, so you just want full service. That's what I'm paying for. Yeah. Hmm. Like I, I will gladly pay and tip very well if it's done, if the full service is done right. Especially when we go to a place like Denny's where like, it's a shit job as it is. Right. I'm like, yeah, cool. If the, if the bill's 40 bucks, I'll leave like 10. Right. Because I'm like, yeah, you know, this person has a shit job. Right. And they're Especially if they're at like the $2. night shift. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I'm going to take care of that person. It's like, if they take care of me, you know, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I just, I just got, be- I got beef with that shit. <laughs> no, no, it's all you. It's good. Yeah. Just give me my full service, dog. Just give me my full service. All I need is my full service. Brian, you feel the same way? No. No? You rather do it yourself? Yeah. For the most part, I'll just, I'll just cook the shit myself. It's like very certain things that I just don't want to put in the effort. Right. So, usually like barbecue because if I it's go to... It's such a process. Yeah. It, it's a process and when I want barbecue, it's like I want it now, not six hours from now. Or like the six, next day. Six to 12, yeah. 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 Okay. So. Yeah, it makes sense. And then I guess. Uh, yeah, barbecues, that's for sure. That's, yeah. that's, oh, a, yeah. that's Bar- a big thing. Barbecue. That's patience. Everything else, I just do myself. Yeah, I, I like the only thing I really prefer to make myself is like. Any form of seafood. That makes sense. Because I want it fresh. Yeah. And I don't know how fresh something's going to be when I go to a restaurant. Yeah, line. That's the only problem with like, we don't go to a lot of seafood restaurants mm. in, in Houston. I don't work? Yeah. Not even uh, Joe's Crab Shack? We go to that Willie's place, whatever. And yeah. like, the only problem is that with their fish, they use a lot of like breading. Mm. And it's like it's most, too much. it's mostly breading. Right. You know, it's like the fish is cool, but like you could literally strip off like a fucking quarter inch of God breading me. Yeah. and then the fish is like that big. And you're like, God damn, son. Jesus so Christ. It's like you're, so you're basically just eating like a flat hush puppy. Yeah. For the most part. Oof. Yeah. I'd rather just do it myself. On right. top of that, I like to fucking bake my fish anyway. Yeah. Mm. But to me, it just tastes better. I like salmon. Salmon's good. Salmon's good. Salmon's also another process though. Yeah. That's a lemon pepper salmon. Oh, so delicious. Yeah. That, I mean, I, I I generally like most seafood. But like there's certain things I just, I don't like uh mussels, oysters and all that shit. That's gross to me. I want to try them. Just you might, you I might like have. them. Right. I like mussels. I've seen a lot of people put like lemon juice whatever the fuck it is on there like right. to kind of Add some flavor to take away. It's a, it's a, it's the texture for me. Right. Yeah. It looks like a booger. Yeah. And it may go thro- down like a booger. Kind of feels like it, yeah. yeah. That's my only beef with it. Right. What about the flavor? You like it or no? No. I hear it's really salty. Yeah. Some of them. I can't, there's a difference, right? Uh, Mussels and oysters, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember which one it is, but one of them's like, like a fucking... A hot hit of fucking salt in your mouth. Oof. Yeah. That'll that'll do you that'll do you dirty. You that'll get my blood pressure. Going. You don't really want to eat too much of that shit. God I can't damn. remember which one it is though. Right. You know what I'm saying? I thought you were gonna put your two cents about it. No. No. 
No, I like shellfish. Because so. you're selfish? Yeah. Eh. Mm. I I like it more than, you know, just regular fish. Mm. So. Need to get you on some sea bass, bro. Some crab. Mm. Like, like the only fish I think I, I like is cod and tuna, realistically. Word? You don't even like salmon? No, nah, don't care you for salmon. You don't like catfish? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, f- I'll fuck with some fried catfish. You don't like bass? I don't think I've had bass. That's bass and uh, perch and crappie. Right, that's the cleanest fish you'll ever eat. Yeah. Was it uh, crappie? Uh, remember um, Navarro, we'd always make those mm-hmm. when after we catch them. Yeah, those are perch. Oh, perch. We would catch a crappie every now and then, yeah. but mostly perch, yeah. Some big ass fucking yeah. round it, yeah. Those were good. When he made them, yeah, it's clean, clean eating right there. Clean mm-hmm. fish. catfish is the one. <laughs> it's oddly the one that tastes the best because they eat nothing but dead shit. Right. It's so fucking weird. We caught a big ass like sixteen pound fucking catfish one time, and we caught it with blacked liver, Ooh. like rotted black liver. Okay. Catfish don't give a fuck. Hmm. But oddly enough, their meat tastes the best to me. It the, is good. It's good, but the. The cleaner, like you know, like your little game fish, the the mini fish, perch, crappie, right. bass. That's where you're gonna find the cleanest. Slap at the boss. Slap at the boss. That's where you gonna find the best, nice. the best, the cl- best clean eating anyway. Hey man, we do need to go fish on one of these days. Hell yeah. What days you off this week? None. None. Nice. Like at all. Oh, well, busy with days you off. Ah. <laughs> I was cracking on me too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Monday we got some shit to do. You know what I'm saying? You already yeah. get about this hoe? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right, you whole assholes. Hold on, let me. Oh shit. Oski, I gotta, gotta swap back over to the to the fizz on. Ooh. All right, hoes. That was episode 196. 196. 196. 196. 196. Bitch ass, bitch ass. We'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.